You're listening to Why You Suck in Bed on the Riotcast Network. Glory Hall Radio is now Riotcast. Riotcast.com. I might just get myself a fucking blowjob. I'll go bring my strap on in there and have fucking <laughs> little Asian city over there suck on my fucking glitter shit and watch the snow globe frosty snowman go up and down. <laughs> and then I'm going to bang her in the fucking ass. Because I want to fuck someone in the ass. I'm sick of everyone <laughs> talking about getting fucked in the ass. I want to fuck someone in the ass hard and maybe see a little blood at the tip of the fucking fake thing. Oh, oh my. I want to see the little frosty snowman have a little red spot on his nose. <laughs> Is that wrong? Turn is that the a root off? Is And I'm going to fucking pull someone's hair. Fa la 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 la. That's right. I'm going to make someone scream. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Merry Sorry. Christmas. Merry Christmas, guys. <laughs> What's up, guys? All right, TP, turn the music off. I do a slow fade. <laughs> happy holidays. You're so happy. I am. It's the holidays. So What's not to be happy about? I'm extra. trying to be. And your hair is redder than It's also last short. Time. I know. I have a m- Never mind. What? I look like a fucking... I need like... You look like a soccer mom? I look like a fucking soccer mom. <laughs> no, you don't. Yeah, you look cute. Look, look what happened. What'd she do to my bangs? You look good. No, Who's she? Like the woman who does my hair. Banged you I when she did your hair? What? Oh. What happened? You bang the woman who does your hair? No. Oh. Why do I have to bang her? I just figure you bang everybody. I do. You said bangs. I do. I, I, I'm on to other big... No, I'm not really. I'm still with... Whatever. That's a whole other <laughs> You're story. You're not on to bigger things. You're no. Just... I, I gotta keep them little. You went back to the little man? I like the idea of fucking him in the stocking. Oh, God. What? I don't know. I just figured I'd throw him in my stocking. That I, I have like this cute little like retro fake fireplace in my apartment. And I have a really big stocking. And he would fit perfectly in it. I figured if I put his body and kept his head out and just sat on his face and had him... No? Oh, my God. I don't know. I have like these sick, twisted fantasies when I'm sitting there. So I thought I could just like... Jump on his face and fuck him while his body's in the stocking. This is no? just a seasonal thing. That's like I a, thought that, that'd be fun. That's like holiday bondage because he can't just move. A, I thought that'd stuff. be kind of cool and I could fuck his face. Have you spoken to him about this? Is yeah, he... I brought it up. What did he say? Of course he's into it. Who wouldn't want to eat my fucking pussy while being in the stocking? What happened to his fluffer? She's around. You know what? I've decided that I'm going to be okay with this. Like, I don't need monogamy with a midget. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Isn't that a foreigner song back in the 70s? I don't 70s? know. It might be. Because I'm, I'm going to start seeing other people as well. I discussed it with him. But for now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fuck him through the holidays. Okay. That's, that's very giving. I think you. it is giving. It's the seasons I, are giving. Who Wonderful. wouldn't want to fuck me? All right. I have, a, mm. I have two surprises for you. I'm scared. Well, there are two little Christmas gifts for you. Little? Well, well, fucking... What? Don't, nothing. Nothing. Behind door number one. I know. One. I'm like looking at the damn curtains. <laughs> like it's Randolph here. Because I'd feel really bad because he doesn't listen to our show. Okay. First, or the first gift is actually very large. Don't mm. ask me how I know this. What is it? It's the host of the Glory Hole, Rob Sprantz. Oh, uh, why does he have to go with midgets? Uh, Rob, are you there? And I don't need monogamy <laughs> with the midget. <laughs> Hey, Rob. Rob Sprantz is in the house. Wow. What's up, motherfuckers? What do we owe this pleasure? <laughs> he loves us. Mm. He wanted to come on for the holidays. Are we doing a special Rob Sprantz holiday episode? Isn't he ho- Are you Jewish? No, I just look like one. Oh. Actually, never mind. What, he does? I was, no, you know, never mind. What? Because no, I, I don't know if it's insulting or not. No, go for it. Someone recently asked me what you look like. And you said a Jew. No, I didn't actually say a Jew, but do you remember the movie The Dark Crystal? <laughs> no, it's not, no, 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 no it's, a, it's not the creatures. It's like the, little, <laughs> it's like the little guy in it, the little boy in it. Yeah. He kind of looks like Rob Sprint. <gasps> he does. He? Yes. Thank you. Okay, thank you, because I don't think it's really insulting. I'm going to pull that up. You should. He kind of, Rob, do you know what I'm talking about? 
I don't, but but considering Robert Kelly just called me a bird with AIDS, I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> no, you look like the little boy in, um, which, by the way, is really a puppet but, or a muppet, <laughs> but you look like him. It's It's kind of cute. There's no picture of a little boy. They're just these. This one? Let me see. Yes. Oh, my God. Isn't that Rob Sprance? Oh, my God. Rob. You got to send, yes. send it to me. That <laughs> looks like Rob. Doesn't that look like, do you think that looks like Rob? It looks like a, a miniature Cher. <laughs> no, but if you yes, cut, that's accurate. But yeah. if you, cut, okay. you don't see Rob in the mouth and the nose? I see the mouth. Yeah. Oh, it's definitely the mouth and the chin. <laughs> Rob, all you need is bangs and you look like this guy. <laughs> what's a, what's think, his I name? I think the headline says it all. I don't know what his name is. Dear Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why is this? Uh, all right, okay. Your sec. We'll move on from this. But this, Google that shit when you have a chance. So basically, I look like the puppet from the Dark Crystal, but I don't have as much hair as what you're telling. <laughs> Pretty Aww. much, and you're a little taller. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little. But <laughs> and you have a better complexion. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's good. I'll take. <laughs> so happy Hanukkah. <laughs> yeah, doesn't shalom. It, doesn't Kelly. it start like Wednesday or Thursday or something? Tuesday, I think. Whatever. I date the Jews. I need to know this shit. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so... And what's my second... Here's your second gift. Are you ready? Everyone listen. It's an audio clip just for you. Is it Randolph? Listen. Please don't tell me it's one of his porns. Just shut up. Are you ready? See, man, black people are taught to love, but I find it hard to love midgets. <laughs> that's the only thing I hate. It's a goddamn midget. All of them. I don't care what color they are. I hate them all. There's a standing order at the door there. Is it Major D? No fucking midgets. <laughs> red fucking I mean fox. Come on. That's so funny because somebody I calls me red wolf. Midgets, huh? Red fox, red wolf. You know, they look up at you like they, they won't sit there. Get out of my way, you little short motherfucker. You know? <laughs> if only you were still alive to help me with Randolph. So do you like that? That was I your do. That was a good one. That's a good one. Okay. What did you get me? Wow, way to put me on the... I got nothing for you. Why? I, what do you mean, why? What do you want? Your gift comes in a bottle. Makes you smell pretty. Really? I'd like you not to call me a whore today. That would be nice. Is but, it a douche? <laughs> yeah, it's to make her pussy smell better, so that way when she's fucking the rest of the network, you know, we're all, right. all happy. We have Rob here, so why don't we address this? Because I believe last episode, you'd like, you just started screaming from the rooftops how I'm such a whore, and I... Well, you're on. claiming that you only slept with one person from the network. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I've actually got a, I got to say a sentence I never thought I'd say. Callie's but right. I kind of agree with Callie. Ah! And, uh, yes, not the thank you. Part, not the horror okay. part. Okay. Oh, shut up, Rob. <laughs> because, she, <laughs> because she said, uh, I think what you said exactly, Callie, was, uh, you know, all, everybody makes the joke, Callie's a whore, Callie's a whore, but I didn't sleep with anyone in the network. Thank you. Nor have I seen anyone's penises in the network as well. Yes, you have. Yes, you have. Who? Miguel. Yes, that, yes you have. Oh, That's true. but that was because he sent it to me. It's not like... And that you means did, you didn't see it? And you didn't reciprocate? You oh. did reciprocate. What did because, I send? Because <laughs> I don't remember. Oh, my ass. I, I think there's only two black people on the network, and he's one of them. <laughs> <laughs> I might have sent him something. It was a lonely night that night. <laughs> I was, <laughs> it was a bad night for me. But <laughs> Stacy, on the other hand, you actually held in your hand two different cocks of the network. <laughs> oh, really? Yes. yes. Wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, wait, wait. Two? Yes, two. Hey, wait, I'm, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> no, 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 no. Not Jeff. The Jersey. Well, Jeff's Jersey number. boy. <laughs> It's Jeff's number three. Okay. As of today. But um, Stacy had a run of the mill penis. No, not run of the mill. You called it something nice. else. Though. It was nice. nice. It was a penis. nice penis from the Marco. What's his name? Marco. Right. From Jersey Jerk. From Jersey Boys. <laughs> from Jersey Boys. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, I you listened said to you all You did of- some exploring down there. Yeah, you did. What if I tell you that wasn't true? I don't believe you. I, I know. Bullshit. So I should just accept. Okay. You should just accept the fact that you're a whore. Own it. Wear a t shirt. Tell the world. I am Stacy. I'm a whore. But I'm not a accept whore. Accept it. Move on. It's okay to be a whore. It's not. No. Just accept it. What's the difference between a whore and a single woman dating? A whore. No, I want to know. What's the difference no. between a whore and a single woman dating? Rob, what's the difference? Um, <laughs> you, guys, you guys are setting me up big time. First of all, I, I, don't think you're, I don't think you're a whore. It's more of a slut. <gasps> <laughs> I quit. <laughs> Well, yeah. just because I ruined your holiday barbecue. The difference is, is that a single woman who sleeps around, she'll spit. <laughs> You're a whore because you swallow. You're There's the difference. You're such an asshole. It's a good one, though. No? <laughs> Am I wrong? 
you swallow, you don't spit. How do you know that? Because oh, episode, who did you talk to? 57. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Remember we discussed spitting it out down our shirts to try to not be so obvious? No, I don't know. And then know. you were like, ah, fuck that, I just swallow. <laughs> No. Is it such? I don't understand. Why is that such a big deal? The difference between the two, um, because one is more ladylike. Bullshit. Which one's more ladylike? Dri- having having that. cum drip down your your um, chin time. as you run to the ladies' room, or just swallowing and gently wiping your lips and smiling. It's I think a little whorish when you swallow. They're what? both kind of awesome. <laughs> why? Why is it whorish to swallow? I can't get out of this. Now I'm sweating. Get me out of this, TP. Help do, me. Do you swallow midget cum? It's like a dribble. Sploosh, of course sploosh. I do. It's his, a dribble? Do you know how small his scrotum is? <laughs> do you have any concept of that? It's a dribble. It's like, like a little, like, it's like a mouse fucking coming. Compare it to... Oh, there goes that bestiality thing again. Compare oh, it to it. a nut you would find in a cornucopia. What nut would it be? I don't... Really? Why? I, I have no idea. Would it be a it walnut? Would be, no. It would be like a... um. A, a macadamia, maybe? No. Ooh, Macadamians are small, American? aren't they? Almond? Sliced? No, it's not. What are those really nasty nuts that I never want to eat? Cashew? They look like a dump. Rob, do you know what I'm talking about? Oh, the ones that like have a little curl to them? Yeah. Like the clusters? Yeah, I always throw those out, too. They scare me. Yeah, well, whatever that is. <laughs> are they brown? Yes. Because he's got really brown balls. <laughs> What's his nationality? He's a little Italian, a little German. Just like Irish. Me. Yeah, just like you. He looks just like you, but so he smaller. looks Jewish. So he looks like a fraggle? Look, a little fraggle. Dark crystal. He's actually good looking. He's got pretty blue eyes, dark, dark black hair, but he's got brown balls. Like they're like wrinkly. I guess they're all wrinkly. But his are exceptionally wrinkly. How old is he? 32. Hmm. He's, he's good. Kind of young to have wrinkly balls. The only thing good about his balls is that they fit perfectly within my mouth. So how big is his dick? tiny i told you i'm lazy now i don't want a big dick it's easy to suck it is it bigger it's it's to his leg ratio yeah it fits his body it's small it's like my middle finger oh my god like a cocktail weenie right that's why i like just sitting on his face because he could eat a good pussy in a stocking Uh uh-huh is he a midget or a dwarf he's a midget does he get offended if you say dwarf yeah it's he's vertically challenged is what he tells me to tell are you going wouldn't a midget wouldn't a midget have normal sized torso or is that a dwarf? I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm, I, I have to take my midget 101 class. <laughs> it sounds like you've already uh, gone to <laughs> Dude, Now, are you going to hang out with his family for the holidays? I am. I was invited for Christmas Eve. I thought he said he was embarrassed to bring you. He was, but him and I got into a fight. It was either me or the fluffer, I told him. I was like, don't you think it would be a wiser choice to take me than a fluffer? And he said no. But I begged him, and I said, I really want to meet your family. You said they're all little. They're all little. What's Do they live in a treehouse? <laughs> I know. <laughs> they make cookies? <laughs> no, actually, um, they live in Westchester. I don't, I don't know where in Westchester. Somewhere up there. And we're just going to go up there. I think it'll be interesting. It'll be good. It'll be okay. What are you getting them? I was going to bring a poinsettia. I'm just nervous that it's going to be bigger than them. <laughs> like, this is my qualm. Like, I asked him. He's like, maybe just bring a bottle of wine. Once again. Do I bring a big giant bottle of wine? I dare you to bring one of those like huge ones <laughs> like, that you <laughs> the that champagne you, bottles yeah. that you like slice open the top. Yes, I Should dare I you. That? Yeah. that would be pretty bad though. Why don't you just bring airplane bottles of liquor? Uh, that's such a fucking good idea. I didn't think about it. Or like they have the little um, Moet Chardon little bottles that you just put straws in. Maybe I should do that. Why don't you just everything you bring there should be miniature? Just like just good idea. as a that's gag. Not a bad idea. But it's not going to be a gag. They're going to love me then. No, they're not. They're going to think gonna you're a dick. Me. No, they're going to think gonna you're accept- a dick. I bet they'll think you're a dick. I should take video when I go. You should walk in with shoes on your knees. <laughs> <laughs> no, Sing that, be nice. that song, Short People it's Got No Reason. And then you're going to bring them like that Tim Conway video? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be nice. Kelly Dorf. I'm going to be nice. I'm going to be nice. I just want him to eat my pussy one more time. That's it. Just one I think more time. they'll probably all be inside your pussy, like all living in there, like a colony. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> It probably wouldn't even bother me because they're all so small. Does he have any siblings? Uh, he has two sisters, so they're going to be bitchy to me. Mm. But I heard his dad's really hot. You should compare vaginas. To them? To the sisters. Ooh. Theirs is probably like... Tiny. Like a Lunchable, whereas yours Ew. is like a full-blown roast beef hero. Oh, God. <laughs> I love pussy. With cheese. <laughs> Ew. Uh, can we get off me and, me and Randolph, please? <laughs> 
Can we please? Okay. Rob, what about you? Who you? How's sex life with you and your wife? <laughs> it's been good. Has it? How often do you guys have sex? How often? Yeah. Two to three times a week. Okay. Wow, that's good. And is it straight up like regular... Dark like, crystals, dark crystal sex. <laughs> he stuffs so her in, in the stocking. <laughs> yeah, the, whole, the whole entire bedroom is done up like the set of the dark crystal. <laughs> nice. Are you doing anything fun for Hanukkah with her? Like, are you gonna like put on like a rabbi outfit and yeah, so, I don't yeah, know, first, stand under a menorah? Thing, yeah. Well, the first thing I'm gonna do for Hanukkah is realize that I'm not Jewish. <laughs> I <laughs> thought you were Jewish. <laughs> This I thought the, he was this Jewish. This Callie doesn't pay attention to conversations thing again. That's right. Yeah, she's just in her own. I heard world. you say you weren't, but I thought you were lying. You look Jewish. I know. <laughs> Is there anyone on the glory hole that's Jewish, Callie? I want to. I want to know how much you know about your network. I don't. E- you can. I don't even know who's on the our entire network. cast of the Jersey. Board. I want you to name all the people on Rob's show, the glory hole. Actually, oh. everybody on the network. Let's the, let's count the Jews. Yeah, okay. <laughs> this will be a good game. I think everyone's Italian. I feel like I can only think of except one except Big Mike. I'm not. Oh wait, what about Mr. Peepee? He definitely is a Jew. Oh, here, uh, Mr. Peepee is interesting because he's a converted Jew. Yeah. Oh, see, okay, I was right. There you go. Ooh, go Cali. Do you remember hey, when we met hey, him? Hey, yeah. You were so drunk, and he no. was like, "Nice to meet you. I'm a converted Jew." Because he knew I liked Jews. Oh, that's yeah. right. Sadie <laughs> forgot about that, but he did have that whiny Jew voice, so. <laughs> Oh, no. I didn't realize that that converts. Like you can get that whiny Jew voice. You have to like <laughs> practice for that and to get it into the Jew Jewish. World. Oh, shiz to the niz. He Mr. sounds like a whiny Jew. Mr. Peepee is. Gonna... Rob, you kind of sound like a whiny Jew too. Thank you. No problem. I appreciate that. Uh, yeah. All right. So none of the Jersey. Right, so now the... that I'm done offending everybody. Wait, wait, wait. None of the Jersey boys are Jewish. No, clearly, listen to them. Bunch of goombas, right? Um, you're such a stereotype. Funny goombas. Um, who else? Big R- Mike is definitely Jewish. Rich, <laughs> Rich and Bonnie. I don't Bonnie's know. Bonnie's definitely not. So just let's say happy holidays from now Rich on. Rich is a Jew. Yeah, Rich is a Jew. Bonnie's not. Um, I don't think the hammer fisting guys are Jews, right? No. The uh, gnome f- from the comedy cell is Jewish. Okay. So are we having a holiday party? Kevin Graham? Kraft isn't. I no, know that. Can- we can't have a holiday party because I can't have Dr. Stacy within 100 yards of anybody Shit, on the network. That's right. Why? Who do you think I'm going to go after next? Really? Uh, everybody. Everyone. I have, I have boundaries. I'm not going to, you know, violate people's marital promises. And oh, wait, things. Kevin Kraft, single. I'll go after mm-hmm. him. Okay. See? You, he- forbid, you can date. TP is the only one you can date on the network. Wow. That's a... <laughs> <laughs> Only if he makes that sound in the bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so touch, whenever he squeezes that balls, that's what comes All right, out. so then instead of that, Sprance, what are you doing for your wife for Christmas? Or what where are you do- doing her? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, we get up in the morning and then we get under the tree and then I just bang her and I put pine needles all over her. That's how we- <laughs> I guess you listen to one of my podcast, our yes, podcasts. Exactly. He makes her open the gift of lingerie. And lays down a festive blanket. Festive blanket and then they bang. <laughs> the festive blanket was the best part of it. <laughs> <laughs> Does it have to be like a, a religious theme or can it be a snowman? No, it could be reindeer and shit. It could be, you know, it doesn't have to have the nativity on there. That would just be wrong. I think it would be even right. <laughs> <laughs> You would have a dress up as the nativity and act it out, and then you just be Joseph and Mary, and then you say, well, now it's my turn to get in there. <laughs> See, I think that's a good idea. <laughs> I'm going to give you a Jesus. What are you doing for your boyfriend, Stacey? Are you getting all... Are you I don't have a boyfriend. Things? What the fuck? What are you doing to me? I don't have a boyfriend. Oh, wow. I'm so confused. <laughs> what, I, did, when, what, did, didn't uh, she have a right. boyfriend? Yeah, she, she, yes, she did. I thought she did. No, I it, didn't. I said I was... a boyfriend who, who, who spun a midget around his cock, apparently. That's an ex-boyfriend. Oh. Oh, my God. So you're not doing anything for anyone during no, the I'm holiday da- season? No, I'm dating. So, okay, the 15 guys that you're dating, are you going to do anything fun with them? <laughs> well, one of them... Oh, fuck. I can't believe I'm going to admit this. One of them is taking me to see... Um. Oh, what's their name? I don't even know what their name is because I don't like them. It's a, it's a concert. Mannheim Steamroller. It's Roller. not Mannheim Steamroller. <laughs> it's the other one. Oh my God! And you're going? Yes. You it's, need to end this relationship now. Instead of instead of the Nutcracker, it's like Nut Rocker. Oh. F- um. <laughs> it's Trans Siberian Orchestra. Oh. And remember, I met that guy who was the traveling singer of the Trans Siberian. Oh my God! The douchebag that hit on both of us. Yes. That guy. Wait a minute, isn't he in that? <laughs> no, he's retired from that. Oh, 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 oh. 
I know one of the electronic violinists in that. Are I, you really going? Who's you? You know the you? guitarist too. No, I don't. <laughs> um, one of the guys is taking me, so I'm going there before for Christmas. Nice, not Christmas nice. Day, but I hope not. How, how did you react to the gift? Were you like, oh? That sounds great. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly it. And then he followed up by saying, I always wanted to see them in concert. And I was like, I've always wanted to see the Foo Fighters. <laughs> yeah. How about the Trans-Siberian Foo Fighters? <laughs> that would be awesome. You think they'll have David Grohl as a guest? I don't think they'll have David Grohl as a guest. He'll jam to the nut rocker. However, John Tesh is a possibility. Ew. Connie Selica will be there. <laughs> Yanni. Ew. Yanni will come out. Zomfir, the master of the pan flute, will come out. <laughs> Sounds like fun, guys. Good times. Kanye. Oh, God. All right. Yeah, lots of fun. So we have a game for Sprants. No, let's just reiterate that Stacy has a game for Sprants. Well, somebody arrived to the studio late. I was at and a sex brunch, by the way. What is, what, what is a sex is brunch? <laughs> a brunch. And all, I, I hung out with people that all they did was talk about sex for the last four hours. There's I totally hung- a Bloody Mary joke in there somewhere. <laughs> no, but I, Screwdriver. Hung, I hung out with this older woman who's, what, 70, in her 70s, who told me she went to the Fantasy Festival down in, like, Key West. And all she was talking about was teabagging and clits. And cock sucking just now over brunch. It was phenomenal. Okay, wait a second. Did you eat? Yeah, who, who, I could eat with a cock on my nose, oh, tea bagging <laughs> with a bagel year, hanging out of my mouth. Year old woman. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, it was kind of hot listening oh, to her. Oh, okay. She was good looking, older, broad. Okay. Her, her vagina must smell like golden grams. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. If that made no sense, but it just, I just popped into my girls. head. Yeah, we Just talked about we talked about is what I would say. Cl- we talked about clitoris pumping, like for women who want maybe a bigger clit to maybe. Oh my god! Well, there are women out there, Rob, that might want a bigger clit. Who? But sometimes it's hidden. I don't know. Some women that it takes forever to find it when you're going down on them. How big are their lips? If you can't find a clit, <laughs> who can't find that? Yeah, really. Come on. How big are the lips? When when my when someone's tongue is short, like. <laughs> <you're-> <laughs> <laughs> is the midget's tongue short? No, his is good. His tongue is actually bigger than his penis. <laughs> this is where I've been the last four hours. Okay. That's why I was late. Where were they? Was this in a restaurant? This was at someone's home. No shit. In Nyack. No. So it took me forever to get back. Okay, asshole. You know what? You should have planned better. What's- I, I should have planned better. But So this girl that I'm dating. Did you have me. eggs over easy? Mm, no, get actually. it? Yeah, I got it. But I got scrambled ones. <laughs> but um, we talked about transvestites and trans. It was interesting. It was very. I was very actually educational of me to be there. What did you learn? Bring it back. Bring I it. learned that I never want someone to put testosterone in my clitoris. Is that how they do it? I don't know, but that's what they said. I'm gonna I've learned that. I never want to go to a sex brunch. <laughs> 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 but they're fun. They are. They're fun. And you know the guy that you know that his home. He's he's very in, he's very much into the porn industry, so I got a little feedback also from him. Does he know Randolph? He does know Randolph. He filmed him, as a matter of fact, mm. and he was really kind of he kind of got he was unnerved by the fact that I fucked him. Right. He caught, I lost a little respect. I had to gain back that respect, but I did. I think I got it. Why? Mm. Why? Why? He unnerved. Because Randolph has a bad reputation. He's like a heartbreaker. Like, he's toes? just dirty. Oh, my God. Well, Randolph's a heartbreaker. Not a heartbreaker, but he's a dirtbag. Like, like, he fucks and, and runs, and, like, he's, like, dirty. <laughs> he <laughs> fucks and limps. No, he you know fucks what I mean. and So he was, like, crawls. really have a little more self-respect. He fucks and scoots. You know. <laughs> so. What? Okay, can we get back to okay, this? Okay, sorry. All right, so we have a game for Sprantz. I'm going to say some phrases and... Either Stacy or Callie said the phrase, and you have to guess. Okay? Okay. Because you claim to be a fan of ours, correct? Hi. I don't claim to be. I am a fan of you. Okay. Well, we'll see about that. Hi, All gosh. Right. Okay. I, I think you should pit him against her. Why do you have to pit anybody? Oh, that, you're right. That's OTP such a fucking genius. That's why I blow him. Okay. That's what you say, but you don't do it. She's all talk. I blow him, right? 
Do it right, right now. Started, yeah. Ew, really, Rob? You're not <laughs> yeah. here to witness this. I don't need to see that shit. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, but we just saw your pussy last time I did your show. You're, you're showing pictures of it. You can't watch that. Come that's on, a, that's a good point. I got a pretty pussy. Do you remember that? <laughs> got a pretty pussy. She doesn't remember it. No idea what the fuck you guys are talking about. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Was I there? Yeah, we were in studio. Oh, I you was were kind of there. I was a dress. I was wearing a dress. Remember, and I think we yes. had. Um, oh, my legs were up. Yeah. Okay, let's move on. Go on. Go on with your game. <laughs> Go on. All right. So you're going to be up against France, and that's your punishment for not remembering anything. Now, all of these phrases were not fuck- said in jest. They were said like, like that's your actual opinion, right? Like a what? You look like a. Cholo. This is you have to is wait. You look can- like you should have a hairnet on your head right now. Thank you. Can you just Doesn't shut the like fuck up? You should have khakis on. And what? he should be fucking like, oh, oh what's up, man? Because, How are you? I because he has it. a black button up and it's buttoned all the way to the top. Yep. Because he ha- he's sick and he's freezing and you're making fun of him. You look like a Mexicano, man. <laughs> what's up, chica? Okay, sorry. He, he looks hot. I just rocked his world. If he had a fucking hairnet on, I'd fuck him. <laughs> I, I'm too tall. I'm too tall. Just stay on your knees, babe. Stay on your knees. <laughs> I'll bend you over and fuck you in the ass. I think TP has the hardest job on the network. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you. And I'm not kidding. <laughs> All right. Okay. So sorry. This is how it's going to go. I don't clearly. I'm don't going to inter fucking rupt me. Mm. She's yelling at me. I'm going to make a statement. Each, both of you. I swear to God, you're going to get little spankings if you don't stop. So anyway, blah 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 blah. blah. Okay. I'm going to. That was coming. I'm going to just shut up. I'm going to do a <laughs> statement. I'm going to say a statement. And then you're both going to take a second or two to think who actually verbalized the statement. And then I will ask each of you what your answer is. But I have a question. Yes. Uh, are any of these statements said in jest? Or are these actual, all of these statements or what you guys really feel? No, they are things that have been said on the show. Okay. Okay. And they, they've probably been repeated a few times. Okay. All right, you'll get it. We'll, you'll get the hang of it. Well, let's do one one practice one, okay? Callie, mm. shut. Practice you, you, one. You Damn. listen to me, <laughs> Callie. You can't blurt it out. You have to sit oh, there. Who do I have to like say? Like a fucking lady, okay? okay? And not just blur <laughs> and not blurt your shit out, okay? Just hold on. Okay. This is my train. I'm driving it. You're just a Stop. passenger. You're going at a timeout. <laughs> I just want the spanking. Stop it. <laughs> No. Okay, ready? Stop it. Okay, that's okay. You said that. You like had a face when you did that. Stop it. He's mad at you. <laughs> All right, you ready? Uh-huh. The statement is big black. Me, I did that. I did that. Anything with black and big, it's me. Honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Got any other games? Yeah, that's a great. Sorry, sorry, go on. But it you see what I mean? It. I'd say big black cock. You would shut the fuck up, and then <laughs> Rob would wait. Sorry. And then, and then would I would say, it. Rob, what's your answer? And then you would say, and if you two can have the same answer, but I just have a feeling that Rob's going to get more correct than you. Okay, go ahead, Rob. And then, Ro- and then Jeff's going to play the clip. Okay, go ahead, Rob. This is she like didn't even game. finish the fucking sentence. I know. I got over. I got, I, I premature. Black I'm a cock all over me, slapping it around, slap me in the face. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's the statement. Okay? I told you. Next. Being big and black. Be quiet. Okay. The next statement is, Jesus Christ, you are a whore. Ooh, that can go either way. Rob, what do you, who do you think said that? TP. I say Stacy said it to me. Okay. I think Callie said it. Rob, you think Callie said it? I and think Callie said it to Stacy. Callie thinks that Stacy said it. Okay, so TP, play the clip. Jesus Christ, you are a whore. Oh, fuck, I said it. Booyah! Good, good job, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> You don't even know what you say. I do- hey, what's the prize if I win this game? Um, I guess I'm going to fuck you because I fuck everyone else. So. Booyah! <laughs> <laughs> okay, the next one is... How about, why, why do you have to fuck him? Can you just suck his dick? I'll do whatever he wants. Okay. Who the fuck do you think you are is the statement. Callie, who do you think said that? I said that. Callie thinks that Callie said it. And Rob, who do you think said it? Stacy. Oh, you probably said TP? it. TP? Who the fuck do you think you are? You won, Rob, you dick. Rob, congratulations. You won that one. Yeah. Okay, here's the next one. The statement is, 
Um, he needs a cute little spanking. Stacy said that. I'm going to agree. Okay. TP, do you have the clip? He needs a cute little spanking. I said that? Yes, oh. you did. Who the fuck was I referring to? So, so far, Everybody. I would never say that. <laughs> Who the fuck? That's not me. Rob has gotten two. Callie's gotten zero. I got the first one. The, 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 the. Big black cock. That, yes. was the, that was the, um, that was the practice, the practice round. Practice I, know, round. I got practice that one. one. You cheated on. Yeah, you cheated. Anything big and black, babe. Anything okay. big and black. Next sure. one. I smell gangbang. Dude, it was you. I smell gangbang. Rob? Well, it was you, but Callie's playing the game wrong again. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what I do? I smell gang. You're not supposed to blurt it out, remember? <laughs> oh, yeah, why? Can you really? Sorry, I get very excited. <laughs> no matter what happens, you're losing this. Okay, next one. I need to fill your cornhole. Shh, don't <laughs> fucking say anything. You two should oh, think about it. Rob. I need, I need to fill your cornhole. <laughs> I'm going to go with Stacy on this. I'm going to concur. Okay. I'm going to fill your corn roll or however you said it. Go ahead, Jeff. I need you to, to fill, fill my, my corn, corn hole. hole. All right. <laughs> so it was a little different, but there you go. Okay. Yeah, you got it. Next one. Everyone gets tea bagged. Did, didn't I just say that two seconds ago? What? Oh, no. I said I like to have a, go to brunch. At the brunch? Tea bag. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Well, Rob, who said that? That's Callie. Callie? Everyone likes to get teabagged. What the fuck is wrong with me? Everyone gets it. teabagged. Yeah, I guess so. But everyone really does. Even women and women. Because okay. women yes, little clits get on. gets teabagged. <laughs> okay, very Apparently good. Apparently you were in an echo chamber. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wow, Callie is starting to get the hang of this. Next one. This one's a little tough. This one's tricky. Get ready, people. My clit's throbbing just for the anticipation of hearing this one. Did you get some testosterone shots at lot with a side of uh, Bloody Mary? I did. I want a really big clit. Okay, you I ready? I'm going to suck it. Here's the like statement. You are a douche. That could go so... So, Rob, who said that? You are a douche. Uh, I'm actually going with Stacy again. Yeah, you too. Yeah, you say that a lot. Okay, you lock it in. Jeff? You're a douche. That was so you. Very good. You're a douche. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's the next one. Last one, people. What's the score? So right now. I'm winning. Wait a second. Callie has. You're not keeping score, are you? I totally am. No, Here, she's no. not keeping I score. T- she tries to come off so professional. Okay. This is the score. Okay. Callie has one, two, three, four. Four. <laughs> and Rob has one, two, three, four, five, six. That's bullshit. So you only I, asked two questions. Seven. So I already won. You already won. So we'll do one more. This is bullshit. <laughs> I've been set up. Are you ready? The statement is, bring back hairy pussy. So, uh, shh. Rob. Uh, Callie. Callie? I said it. I think. Okay. See, now when you give me that fucking look. You, you give think? Me that, I said bring back Harry Pussy. Are you sure? Yes. No. Positive? Uh-huh. 110%. You're such a liar. You don't even know. Yeah, I don't know. All right. Bring <laughs> back Harry Pussy. <laughs> <laughs> so. Pr- I did bring it back recently. Okay. But you also Gone. are now hopefully aware that you, With, need, you need to be more mindful. Is she being like a During mo- the like, show. Really, you're like mothering me right now. I'm not going to be mindful. No? No. Well, look, my, my microphone's bringing Harry Pussy back, too. There's hair all over it, TP. What'd you do? <sighs> he teabagged it. He d- do you do that? I do that before you come here. Yeah. I know you do. You like when I put my nose all over yeah. it? Yeah. Mm. Sorry, Rob. Oh, sweet <laughs> don't apologize to me. <laughs> all right. Why don't we do listener? I'll be more mindful. I did listen to the episode recently. <sighs> I listened to 10 minutes of it. Oh, I did good, right? What a trooper. I thought it was good. I, th- I think we did good. We were funny. Yeah, you know we usually go for an hour or longer. <laughs> I put myself to sleep sometimes. Okay. <laughs> Can we do some listener email? I haven't gotten any. I wonder why. No, wait. Yes, I did. Oh, it's yes. It's time to answer your emails. Dude, does this ex- this explain your panic email? 
I know, exactly. It's I got time to answer your That was during emails. my sex brunch. I was thinking about you, Rob. And here we go. Hey, hi. <laughs> Are you, did you drink at brunch? No, I had coffee and water. Are you sure? I'm excited. Oh. I'm bringing excitement back to the show. Hey, did you get this email? Yes. Are you reading it? Do you want to read it? I think because I, so I need it. no more train wrecks of her reading emails, please. You have one more chance to read an email without fucking up. This you have, this so is your last sweet. last chance. <clears throat> Are you ready? Can you do this? You know what? That guy apologized. His email wasn't very good when he talked about spooging. He was talking about spooging in the shower, and he didn't write that. It's not my fault. I don't even know what you're fucking talking about because right now. Because you didn't listen to the fucking show. Yes, I listened to it three times. So Why? read your email, because I All love right. myself. Now you- Are we recording yet? Am I farting? What did you say? I said, are we recording yet? Yeah. <laughs> yeah stop. All right, go ahead. All right, here we go. I Read the email. This every is minute. from, I don't think I'm going to say her name. but it's Nicole. From, oh. Okay. Her name's Nicole. Just oh, okay, okay. Here we go. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> it says, hi, ladies. I've been listening since the very beginning and have looked forward to Tuesday ever since. I'm 26 and, w- and was in a relationship with a man for almost 10 years. We had two amazing children together, and after the second, he began cheating, and it continued for three years, slowly tearing me up inside and turning turning me into a very dark and ugly person on the inside. I finally had enough and left him, which continues to be a struggle because he thinks we should be together, and I'm ridiculous for leaving. I can't believe that a podcast has helped me, but you ladies truly have. You made me realize that women shouldn't be submissive nobodies. I have also recently started having sex again, and your show has made me realize that casual sex does not make me a whore. Oh, it, it does make only one person a whore, which is Stacy, but you're not a whore, Nicole. I was with one man for so long, and he betrayed me in so many ways, and now I'm out there getting all of this attention from men, but I've never been before because I lived in my wholesome little bubble, and it feels great. I remember listening to some of your earlier episodes when I was in the relationship, that was destroying me and thinking how jealous I was of the confidence and view on men and relationships. You ladies have really helped me to be a stronger and happier woman. And for that, I really thank you. And it goes on and on and on. But seeing that you guys, and then it says NTP, I think you suck dick. And that's why you haven't gotten a blow job. <laughs> I did not say that. So I just wanted to take the time to say thank you. and say <laughs> It does Glenn. not say that. Can it I does. that, please? No. It's Can personal. It was to me and only me. <laughs> Why are you so angry right now? You are so angry. Look at her. <laughs> she went from being happy and, oh, sex mm. brunch. Sex and brunches are good. I suggest them. Are you okay? I'm just You know, the, the, last, the last few episodes, she was very calm and she was right in there with the show. And then I come on and she's back to the train wreck. No, I'm back. <laughs> I don't understand. I had to overcompensate for the lack of um, enthusiasm from my co-hosts right now because they both got the sniffles. <laughs> okay. Okay. I have something to say to you, okay? Mm-hmm. Can I try and get this right? <laughs> Come on. That was a really nice email, guys. <laughs> I cried when I first read that. Did you seriously cry? I did. And by the way, my ex-husband danced to his mom with the song at yeah. our wedding. Aw. What do you mean, aw? I know it's cold there in my shadows, Callie. (laughs) I know that. (laughs) She thinks she's slick, huh? I wish you had a microphone. You never had sunlight on your face. I know. Mm, I'm pale and pasty. (laughs) Thank you. Why is everyone torturing me? Where's the gun part? It's cocked. (laughs) And and ready to go. Waiting for the shoot part. Okay. Yeah, you know what? I'm glad we can help. All right, so give us an email. Um, No, no, no. You can't be nice to her anymore. She's now my friend. (laughs) Why? Her and I are BFF. Nicole, call me. Let's go out. Let's go find cocks or pussies. Little cocks. Okay. It sounds like, I guess we're going to have an awkward show now because you're obviously giving me dirty looks across the table. Do you want to hear about how I sucked my girlfriend's dildo this weekend? Yes. I did a (laughs) few I gave her a fake blowjob. Yeah, that's oh, right. Why? Wait, I, wait. Was it a strap on? <laughs> yes. Was it a strap on? Yep. I wanted to. I wanted her okay. to watch me look up sucking on a glittery 
dildo. Glitter? Mm-hmm. What an incredible waste of time. Yeah. Why is it an incredible waste of well, time? Well, first of all, last Except episode, you were like, eh, I could never give a blowjob with a condom on. It tastes like rubber. <laughs> Meanwhile, you're sucking on plastic. I am, and I love And how it. do you know when to you stop? Know, you know what I like How do you know when to stop? When I get thrown down and thrown on all fours and she fucks me from behind. Because I stop after the cum drips down my throat. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's so nice about the fake ones. There's no cum, there's no mess, there's no nothing, and I get to bite it when I want to bite. And there's no owl behind the bite. So when you're doing this, is there any moment where you think, how did my life get to this point? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> and then I smile, and I suck harder. <laughs> what color was the dildo? I told you, it was glitter. It was white. It was festive. It was Wait, glitter. It was white glitter. Yes, clear. So white. it was like you I don't know, it was in my mouth. Rats. I wasn't really looking at it. It's like one of those pens Wait. that you turn upside down. And then it- <laughs> let, could we let our guest <laughs> say a, something? It was a snow globe on. Yeah. Rob, what did you say? It's like she was blowing Liberace. <laughs> <laughs> it was like a snow globe. So the more it shook, the like the pretty little snow would go back and forth. And then there was a little frosty, the snowman in there. I was going to say, <laughs> there's a little snowman. There's, there's there was a, a little festive snowman. scene in there. Yes. And when the dildo was inside of me, it changed colors when it came out. It was red. I guess the heat made it. Did it play jingle bells inside your twat? No, but I sang jingle bells as I was getting fucked on all fours. Yes, that's roasting. Oh, but but the funny part is, is listen to this shit. So no joke. There's like this app, this stupid fucking app. It's called, um, what is this called? It's the talking ginger. So, so she was fucking me from behind. This is a true story. See, hear that? I don't know how to even get it. I heard it. No, 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 no. But it does this thing. Oh, here it is. Oh, Watch, watch. I love to feel your fake cock inside my pussy. Oh, it's not doing it. <laughs> anyway, basically, this thing recorded me saying how good it felt to have her cock inside of me. <laughs> what? I'm not a train wreck. Why isn't it doing it? Why are you doing that? Okay, Jeff, this yeah. is, listen. <laughs> I told you. It, it just did can, it. It just did it. Wait. Oh my God. <laughs> can can you get some Angry Bird queued up? Because that's the only thing that gets through really? to her. Yeah. No, no, no. Come oh. on. I'm on. <laughs> I've been through enough. <laughs> it's doing it. I want to feel your cock inside of me. Come on, do it. Do it. No, the fucking gingerbread man has morals. It's, it really does. I don't think it says the word cock. Good. Good for him. Why isn't it saying the word cock? I just put the, I just put the network up on eBay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to read an email. <laughs> Jeff. I, <laughs> oh my. Why does this make me laugh so much? Because all of a sudden she's fucking me from behind and I heard Gingerbread Man saying this shit. <laughs> You guys don't get it. It was so I do fucking get it. funny. I get it, but it doesn't translate to radio. God damn it. <laughs> Sorry. Well, I think you had to be there being fucked by a strap on. <laughs> right, you're all invited into the living. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. That, after sitting on a munchkin's face. <laughs> Stuffed in a stocking. stocking. <laughs> what a life you lead. Well, okay, I'm done. I'm done. We have we have to get her in, in, alone in a room in front of a mic for a half hour. <laughs> like, I guess, just see what happens. That just sounded so. It was just so funny, guys. You know what, I'm Rob? Sorry. There are days where I come in here and I have nothing prepared, nothing, and all I do is I put a, <laughs> a glass of wine in front of Callie <laughs> and I sit back and she takes us on a magical ride. It was just funny. that's I'm all I you. need. There's nothing better than getting <laughs> fucked, but then, and you know, you're in the moment, all of a sudden you hear gingerbread going, oh, your fucking fake cock feels good inside my pussy, and all of a sudden you hear, your fake cock feels so good inside my pussy. <laughs> like, that's fucked up. Like, that really, like, and how do you go So what there? happened? Did you get dry when that, when you heard the gingerbread? No, name? I kept going. I wasn't going to, but I mean, we, we had a giggle. Like, we have to have a giggle. I mean, have you ever had sex and, like, your house, your pet comes in and, like, either jumps on the bed and stares at you, and... Yes, a friend of mine who I was having sex with not too long ago, the fucking cat is sitting right next to me. And I was like, can you get the cat away from me? I felt, I felt like I was being violated. Because the cat was there? Yeah. The it, cat it, violated you, but the big glitter strap on dildo did not. <laughs> no, I want to get slapped around getting by this dildos. Right? Yes, you're getting this correct. Okay. Cat staring at me while I'm licking nipples and sucking on pussies scares me. I don't know. Fucking take it like a chimp. <laughs> okay. But don't you have a problem when your cat comes over? 
Didn't your cat lick someone's balls? No, that was not me. You keep trying to make that about me. Damn. That never happened to me. Damn. My cat's jumped on the bed a few times. And has, no, but in all honesty, has your cat ever come over to you at all? Yeah. Mm. My cat knows better. Like, he'll jump on the bed and then see what's going on. And I'm not exaggerating. He screams and then <laughs> jumps off. Because that, that breed screams a lot. Screams and jumps off the bed. He's traumatized. Because every time he doesn't recognize the other person in the room. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Good job. Good good one. My dog licked my, anti-Semitic. my dog licked my girl's nipples by accident. She was topless and getting out of the bed and my dog came up and started licking it and she flipped out. Your dog has had sex with me many times. I know. My dog my dog's a horn dog. He loves to hump. Okay. Mm-hmm. So let's get to it in an email. Okay. I like your poncho. It's not a poncho. No. Oh. How dare you? How dare you? Racial stereotypes are crazy. (laughs) She looks really adorable. I want to snuggle inside of it. I am adorable, but this is not a poncho. I like that you're you're trying to paint a picture of two women talking about sex, and you say, "Hey, what a lovely (laughs) poncho!" (laughs) I didn't say that, (laughs) but it's like she's like wrapped up with nothing underneath. It's adorable. Oh, can I tell you? Can I tell you something Hmm. today? And I won't tell you how this happened, but because it's really crazy, but. A stranger basically told me that I have fat legs. But you don't. So I, but now assholes. I believe I do. Oh, so, I was, <laughs> so I spent the whole day like, oh my God, you did I get fat legs. overnight? So you you have on a beautiful. Poncho. So I threw on a poncho. <laughs> she has beautiful legs, right, TP? Oh, yeah. And they lead up to a nice succulent bootay. Uh, I was thinking of her vagina too, so... Yeah. <laughs> Jesus let, Christ. Yeah, I guess so. Her lips yeah. are pretty meaty and yummy. Yeah. All right, TP's off the list too. Oh, God <laughs> damn you. You don't know if my lips are meaty. You've never seen my mm. vagina. I've spoken to people who have. Okay. And spoken to people who've licked it, mm-hmm. fucked it, sucked it. I don't even want to know who you've spoken to. There's a lot of people that have been emailing us talking about how they can't stand the angry bird <laughs> and that they will do whatever they ha- can to prevent you from playing it again. Okay. So let's say, Doc, I will send you an email every day for the rest of my life if you promise not to play the Angry Bird anymore. <laughs> I like an intellectual lesbian as much as the next spy, but God damn, semantic anger is never fun. Her new nickname is Glenda Beck. <laughs> Love the show. I listen to you when I run, but not at the gym or at work. It's much easier to run off an accidental Woody on the West Side Highway than at the pull down machine. Oh, that's great. The guy's walking around the West Side Highway with a heart on. <laughs> it's awesome. Okay. I've uh, been listening to the soap opera of TP's fellatio situation. I have to say, chicks in their 30s are sucking cock like it's a government mandate. Wow. The lady I'm with right now says that the first time she's had access to an unmonitored internet connection, she looked up instructions for deep throating. Now she's a pro. Now, this goes back to what you were saying, Callie. You said... You can Google anything and learn how to do anything. You're right. right. I sure did say that. <laughs> you don't remember. You're 100% right. I did say that. You can Google anything. What's the World Wide show? Web is such an amazing, amazing, amazing piece of You um, ever see that t- Drew Barrymore movie where she goes to sleep and she wakes up the next day and it's like she, yeah, it's a brand new... 150 dates or 151 dates. With Adam Sandler? Yeah. That's you. Like you, you have no <laughs> reference point. I have no, I have no witty come back to that. But you're uh, right. Yes, good job. Okay, so this guy's girlfriend lets me wipe up the little deep throat tears with my thumb. That's my favorite. Wow. Oh I was just talking about this. Wow. Night. You were just talking about <laughs> that. At yes. your sex brunch? Well, because I wanted to know that if I was sucking on my, um, my friend's, you know, dildo, like giving a fake blowjob, like if she wanted to like gag me with it and watch the tears roll down. Yes or no? You're here. You know. She's not getting on mic. But that's what I said, isn't it? What did I say? She said no. She's looking at, she's (laughs) looking at Callie right now like she wants to kill her. No, I said, I was like, don't you want me, don't you want to choke, like want me to gag on the cock? And you said no. (laughs) Looks like it's going to be a lonely Christmas for you. She's not happy with you right now. Okay. So here, we'll go back to the email. (laughs) Oh, wait, that's right. I wanted her to gag You wanted on it. me to gag on the cock, is what that's she just right. wrote on the piece of paper. I wanted to put it on. I wanted to shove her face on it and make her cry. Okay, so I'm a little demented. I got to... Okay, let's move on. Go on. TP and I I like scared. to tell stories, apparently. Okay. <laughs> There's no reason to settle. 
That sad bastard attitude is why chicks won't fuck you, man. And chicks not fucking you is the only reason you'd stick with not one, but two that don't give you head. But he's getting fucked, though. But he's getting fucked. But he's not getting... Yeah, you're right. If you had a little more confidence, you'd be better with the women. Then you wouldn't have to settle for self-aggrandizing out-of-town pussy. As a man, I'm a little embarrassed for TP that he hasn't figured this stuff out yet. I feel like I'm listening to my teenage brother, like, why does this all happen to me? You say you can't live without it, but the next time you come down a greedy chick's throat, you remember why you shouldn't have to. This guy sounds like a cock. Sounds like an asshole. Yeah. Yeah. Dr. Stacy, I'd like to hear stories about your masturbation habits. Yes, now he's not an asshole anymore. I agree. (laughs) (laughs) I used to like hearing about Callie's monkey, but you haven't gotten into much detail that I recall. I'm interested. How often? What's your usual method? That's true. You don't talk much about it. I did. Yeah, hang on. Let me upgrade my headphones real quick. (laughs) (laughs) I did talk about problem masturbation. I did talk about it with you, but you wouldn't remember. TP, do you remember? Yeah, I masturbate to you. See? You masturbate to me. Yeah. yeah. But that's a lie. Maybe a couple stories about times you rubbed one out when you weren't at home. If Callie's back in the studio, I'd love to hear her stories as well. Book? Yes, I do use a textbook. Yeah. But Callie's more of a funny, spazzy storyteller. Spazzy. Whereas <laughs> I'm absolutely certain I jer- I jerk off listening to you tell a story about double clicking your mouse at work or in a restaurant. <laughs> I'm not sexy. No, I'm, no, nor do I ever portray to be. Well, apparently I am. I know. I, so go ahead. Let's do, no, I'm not. Let's let's put on the mood music. Let's everyone spread your legs. Put your hands on your clit and go ahead, Dr. <laughs> Stacy, and let's get this going. Mood music, you said? Yes. That's oh. fucking mood music? I'm serious. <laughs> like, I wanted some fucking Marvin Gaye or some Comedy. Al Green. Oh I wanted my pussy throbbing, and I want to hear Dr. Stacy talk about how she gets her pussy all wet and makes it spit all over her cat. Oh, oh, great. And your female friend is nodding, <laughs> like nodding like a goddamn bobblehead next well, to me she, right now. She likes fucking pussy, too. <laughs> Who doesn't like pussy? Go, talk. What do you want me to say? I don't know what you want me to I say. I want you to get this guy's dick hard while he's on the West Coast Highway or West Highway, wherever the fuck he is. West Coast Highway. <laughs> You're a New Yorker, you asshole. You don't know where <laughs> the West Side Highway is? PCH. Where is he? <laughs> I don't it's know. Manhattan. Okay. Well, while he's strolling along, I want his dick hard. I want him to be licking his lips, thinking about your wet pussy. Go ahead. Okay, this is just too much pressure. You're all like just staring at me. <laughs> Should we all look up? <laughs> can I take, can I handle it? Yes. Are you going to give us, you're going to paint the picture of Dr. Stacy's pussy? No, first I'll tell you to shut up. <laughs> and, and, and then, <laughs> so you're, you're, you're hammering into doing it. You should just ask her a question. That's the right. guy asked in the email, he said, was there anywhere outside of home that you've done it? Yes. So that's the first question. Was there anywhere outside of your house that you've done? Yes. Okay. And where was that? Uh, in my office. Some, Tell okay. the story. But start from front. I like, I like, I like Allie? the visual. Okay. Allie? Okay. I was dating someone recently. Did you guys break up? Yes. You heard that, didn't you? Yes. Damn We're not together anymore. It's not, no, not that one. Oh. And. <laughs> <laughs> but you're not a whore. <laughs> and, um. And this person was instant messaging me while I was at an office. (laughs) And it was really good. And then I had to take care of business. Did you pull like a Samantha from Sex in the City when she has like the glass doors and she sits there and she like is sitting there fingering herself while her secretary is like right there? Uh -uh. Uh-uh. There were no glass doors involved. I like the idea my coworkers watching me. That's why. I have also done it driving. Oh, yeah. We've discussed that, though. I yeah. have, too. Right. I did discuss this. That's why yeah. I resent being told I've never discussed it. No, you have. But it was a early, early episodes of it. Yeah. Any other questions? Sprance? Well, I don't know. Callie took over. So I feel like Sprance is jerking off. I'm excited. Wait. No, <laughs> do, you prefer, do you prefer masturbating <laughs> with your fingers on your clit or through underwear? Like, do you, Would you prefer to leave your underwear on? Yes. Leave your underwear yes. on, right? See, I've heard a lot of women say that. Some women don't. Some women prefer no underwear. Right. Now, because I don't need, I don't stick my fingers inside of me. No, me neither. Yeah, I do all clitoral stimulation. Me too. Gotcha. Yeah, I don't need to be, I don't need to feel myself no. in there. It's all an awkward position, too, to get my fingers inside me. Yeah, right? Mm-hmm. I would what just, is this music? It's Faith No More, really? 
Who knew? Can we have Rihanna? No. Rihanna's not allowed no. on the show. <laughs> All right. All right. So, so there we go. Did you answer his email, though? Yeah, enough? I hope he's happy. Sorry. Do you, like, lately, do you... um? Do you prefer masturbating first thing in the morning, in the evening, in the afternoons? Or is it just kind of like there's no... Lately, um, I have not masturbated frequently. Well, no, not really. Not that often. Mm. I've also (laughs) realized, and I wanted to bring this up later, but since we're on the topic, I realized that um, I don't have a heart. (laughs) (laughs) You mean... (laughs) Um, I came to the realization this week. I was at a wedding. And I was sitting next to someone, a friend of mine, and she was had tears running down her face, and she was all moved by the ceremony, and everyone was just like big smiles in their face and clapping and like, oh, she's so beautiful. And I was like, this is, there's no place I'd rather not be. I like, this is a sham. Fuck this. Oh, what am no. I doing here? I was so like oh, no. not happy for them. I actually you felt suck. I felt sorry for them cuz you feel like they're going to get divorced. But I don't even know them. Like I, I was just went as someone's date. Uh, and I'm sitting there like I'm I, sure they were so glad you came. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you don't have a heart. But you I, do. I don't have a heart. No, so I don't. You never want to get married again. No. And then I was at the wedding and I'm looking around and I couldn't even be happy for anybody like I was just being like this critical cunt in my brain, like nice dress, asshole. Like, (laughs) how do you not know that makes you look fat? Like all these things are going on in my head. And I'm like, shit, I can't verbalize this. Yeah, you because my date will hate me. Shouldn't say someone that looks terribly fat in a dress. Was it the bride that you were saying? No, the bride looked very thin. Oh, okay, good. She looked actually like she needed to eat a hero or something. Oh, so, okay, gotcha. <laughs> um, she was very thin. But yeah, I don't know. I just, I, I realized so I just... do something right now. <sighs> I don't know. I well, don't wedding know. sucks. So anything that you can do to entertain yourself at a wedding. Now, funny enough, yeah. I'm the complete opposite. I love going to weddings. I get tears in the eyes. Doesn't matter who's up there. I fucking will never get married again. And I think it's all a sham as well. I think, I think weddings are bullshit and I should never have done it 10 years ago. But having said that... I love weddings. <laughs> like, I do. I love them. I like to shake my ass to really bad music. No, but I danced I'll all... I'll do the YMCA I with danced everyone. all night. And you know the creepy uncle? But I didn't... Do yeah. you ever dance with the creepy uncle? I always wind up dancing with the creepy uncle. I let him get a feel of my ass and call it a day. Like, yeah, like, I've done gets, that. Yeah, and then the wife thanks me because she's going to get railed when she gets home. Like, well, you done. know that I went to weddings and I made out with the yes, groom twice. You were dirty. That's, I, didn't, I didn't initiate it. They kissed time? me. Right. Whoa, 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 whoa. Back it up. <laughs> yeah. I think you told this story once before. Yes, I did. Because Stacy's not a whore. And this, like, how close to, was this at the reception that this happened? One was at the reception. Mm-hmm. And one was at a surprise party for the newly married uh, wife. So, so you've, so, so far you've mentioned three weddings you've been to. Two of them you've made out with the groom, and one you've basically shit all over everybody at the wedding. Right. And then you were the was, ultimate guest. And, <laughs> and then there was the one that I spoke about where I left the dance floor and had sex in the bridal suite. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Yes, that, that, was a, that was a gem as well. I am the ultimate guest. Mm-hmm. And my date last night said to me, Have you ever left a wedding and went and fucked somewhere? I'm like, Yep. Uh, is there any more coffee? <laughs> oh, no. Did you do and he's like, why did you fucking say that? I go, because you asked. Like, I, love, <laughs> I love when people ask you questions and don't want the answers, the real answers. Right. To them. Like, that's the answer, dude. I, well, I saw why it. wouldn't. So if, did he try to follow it up and get you to do it? Yes. Did he fuck you in the ass? What? No. I don't know. I figured he was going to try to trump the last person that fucked you out of wedding. No. He said, want to go do it? And I said, no. Why? There was no place to go. You know what? And your dress would have left steam. Plus, that wasn't the smoothest way to go about it. Right. And and also, the the time I did do it, I was in the bridal party, so I had access to the bridal suite. Ah. So this wedding, it was like, well, where are we going to go? True that. You know what I mean? Uh, that's even better. Come on. No, it, it's better. But I was like thinking, oh, am I going to go in the ladies' room with the Jamaican, like, you know, bathroom Att- attendant? Gives you, she'll give you mints after. It's <laughs> perfume. <laughs> Maybe That's she could true. join in and tickle your <laughs> tickle your asshole while he's she fucking you. She was so awesome. Every time I went in there to pee, she was like, "Hello, love, how are you enjoying yourself? You having some drinky drinks?" So That's like, Jamaican. Yeah. I don't know what that That's is. That's a fucking Jamaican accent. Well, you do yours. No, go ahead. I'm judging you. 
What you be fucking in the bathroom for, girl? <laughs> there you go, man. See, that's how you do it. She's probably like saying, I want to suck your cunt too. That sounds Ooh. like drag. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to suck your blood. So, <laughs> okay. all right, so he's done. Can I read an email? Yep. Who's done? That last email. Oh, yeah. All right. Hey there. So I heard nobody sends the show emails. I was thinking that you were awash with perverted emails from all the listeners. My name is Steve. I'm 24. Just my age range. And I've listened since the first episode. (laughs) When he was a fetus. Oh, fuck you. Well, I'll give him one if if that's what happens. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, yeah. And I'm writing out of sunny Baltimore, the land of pleasant living and heroin murder. Awesome. So my little input for the show, I would love to hear you, Doc Stacy, exercise a little more medical jargon on the show. The other week when you were talking about psychological behavior loops was fascinating. So try and weave some medical stuff into the podcast. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, that's easy to say when you're not sitting across from Cali. I was just about to say I would, I would <laughs> yeah. if I didn't get interrupted every the, five seconds. The floor is yours. Please spit out some jargon. I don't know what to say. Well, let me finish the email first. Okay. Actually, I got one. Why don't you diagnose Callie? Yeah, I'm, fuck- <laughs> I'm so fucking. I'm more. I'm probably. The- I am, and I think my co-hosts, as say, co-workers would agree. I'm probably the most normal out of all of the, the three of us. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I'm not abnormal. Seriously, honestly, both of you say it right now because you both know I'm the most normal. <laughs> Snow globe dildos. That's normal. Midgets. Depends on who you hang out with. <laughs> all my friends do it. Sex brunches, yeah. I get blowjobs. You get? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. This was supposed to be our holiday special. Oh. And we're attacking each other. Sorry. I like that she's like, all my friends do it. They do. <laughs> they all probably sit around and go, Kelly's so boring compared to us. I am. I'm totally <laughs> boring compared to them, dude. They're like porn writers, porn stars, fluffers. Like, really? What I- happens when someone writes a porn? What do they write? They write about DVD scene selections. So basically they get scenes that are in a DVD and they have to write like what this, what's going to happen in the scene. So, okay, so why don't the four of us each come up with a scene right now off the top of our heads? Yeah. All right. Go, Rob. No, no you go first. <clears throat> no, you go. No, you go. Do you want to paint? Okay, so like basically do you want me to do it how my friend does it? Like, I mean, how the scenes come up? They're like six photos. No, just no. Just just give a scenario. It doesn't have to be long. Come on. Like you're role playing with your lover. Okay. We are in. Okay. <laughs> We're. It's snowing. We're in a, in a car. The <laughs> snow is coming down. We have those little chili pepper hot things all over our bodies to keep us warm <laughs> inside the car. <laughs> now, this isn't a good one. And we're in there. And I'm basically with a woman. The snow is coming down. You can't see out of the car. We're fogging it up. Are we doing a porn off? Because I want a porn off. No, this isn't I'm a very porn off. This is just like more like me f- eating someone's pussy. I'm very car competitive. While the snow is All right, down. so you do yours. I'll do mine. Rob will do his, and we'll see who wins. No, I, I love mine. Mine's coming from my heart right now. So mine will too. Okay, asshole. I'm done. The what? chili peppers came from our heart. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I Go. can't. I'm not good at this. I'm not good at the whole porn <laughs> thing. I bet you. I bet you. TP will have a gem. Go ahead, TP. Guy walks into a room. Chick doesn't blow him. He leaves. <laughs> I was right. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, uh, you know what? Really? All right. So I'll. Okay. I yeah. mean, I could do a group porn. One. No, he. You know, he needs to do a real one. But you have to we'll, do a we'll real. But back. I'll go first. You think about it, TP. Okay. I'm sorry. You are feverish. You're high on Sudafed, but that should give you some kind of creative freedom. I feel like I'm in Iowa with all those meth. Oh. Fuck you, Iowa. Iowa. You want to? What do you want? You want to stuff my cornhole? Do you want me to talk like this, Jeff? Does it turn you on? You want oh, me to suck don't your don't cock? Know. Come on, Awful. Jeff. I'll suck your cock. Terrible. Hey, I have... Give me two. one. All right. I got a porn. Are you ready? The other night, I actually did this. So um, this guy wanted to role play, and I was like, yeah, that's fine. So I was all dressed up for work. I had stiletto... Well, not really stiletto, but almost stiletto heels on, a tight dress, and this person was dressed up in a suit and tie, mm. glasses. Did he look like Superman? <laughs> a little bit. Nice. I walk in and um, he says, oh, um, I was wondering where you were. You're a little bit late for your parent-teacher conference. And I said, yes, I'm sorry. I was at work. Um, Do you still have time for me? He's like, absolutely. So I sat down and uh, he said, why are you here? I said, well, I'm really concerned. You know, my nephew is doing really poorly in your class. And he said, well, there are ways to get around that. And I said, mm. like what? He goes, show me one of your tits. 
So I did. Nice. <laughs> you, you love this. I love it. Go on. And then he said, um, ooh, that's nice. And he said, why don't you stick that in your my mouth? Mm. So I did. And then it just went on from there. And basically it ended up with me on, on top of him. On the desk? Mm-hmm. This is why our education system is in shambles. <laughs> <laughs> and then at the end, you know, like when you role play, usually like at the end, it's like you're back to normal. I made him stay in his role. So mm. I was like, oh, shit. so um, when would our next conference be? And he was like trying to talk to me like we actually knew each other and I would, would not get out of role. And it like infuriated him. And we ended up fighting. <laughs> good job. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so can I do my real one? Yeah. Oh, you have a real one? Okay. That was a practice one? It's a practice. No, that was just a bad one. So here we go. So my girlfriend's going to be baking cookies. She's going to be in the house. She's going to be in the kitchen. She's going to be in a pair of stilettos with an apron on. Randolph comes out of the oven. No. I'm going <laughs> to come home from work. Also in my stilettos and my fishnets, my thigh highs. Okay. Uh-huh. You go to I'm work in that? I'm you the visual. Cold bullshit. Well, I want to know who makes cookies like that. <laughs> this is the thing. This was our thing. We're going to come home. I'm going to come home and she's going to be there. But she's only going to be in her apron. And you know those pretty aprons that they have? Stores like Anthropology. So I'm going to come up behind her while she's like washing the dishes. But the smell of chocolate chip cookies are filling the air. The aroma is yummy and delicious. And there's a little bit of holiday music playing. I'm going to slowly start kissing the back of her neck. And I'm going to make my way down her spine with little kisses all the way to the top of her ass. And I'm going to slowly take my tongue and start licking all around her and kissing her and spreading her ass cheeks and licking her ass because I love licking ass. The whole time while she's still trying to wash the dishes dish breaks. I shut the water off. I lean back. I pull her hair back and I start little bites all over her neck and down her shoulder and to her arms and I'm touching her and I'm feeling her nipples through her apron and I slowly take my hand and I go down in between her legs and I feel how moist she's gotten. Off. Why are you making faces? So I slowly insert my fingers inside her pussy. Mm, she feels so warm, so wet all over my hands. Oh, it feels so good, though. And The cookies are burning. Fuck the cookies at this point. Shut the oven off. Mm. Come on, that's not so bad. And I throw her down, spread her legs, and I go down there and I start licking her pussy. Mm. And then she comes all over my face. No? I liked it. All right. I, give I you, thought it was I, good. Yours is better than mine. I, I could have gotten into more detail, but I just... Yeah, I mean, it's just a scenario. <laughs> you didn't have to... Yeah, that's my scenario. Great. So now it's TP's Fuck you. Turn. I like the holidays, and I like cookies <laughs> now while I have sex. <laughs> what kind of cookies feelings. are they? Sugar cookies? Know, it was chocolate chip, and it's cute, because <laughs> I love the holidays. Merry Christmas, Callie. <laughs> Thank you. I like the holidays. TP? I Come on. Don't be a cock. I'm a cock when I'm sick. Mm, all right. You know what? I'll do one, and I'll include TP in it. How's okay. That? Ooh, I like man sex. All right, you you guys are all doing a show and you're drinking and you're all fucked up and drunk, <laughs> and the show well you're all fucked up and drunk for a change. And hey, sh- this I didn't say you. Mm. Did def- I? I'm a little defensive. Yes, you are. So anyway, the show ends, and you're all messed up and you start playing around. And TP takes over. He becomes the man. He takes charge. And he, <laughs> and he tells you and he tells both of you what to do to each other. And you listen to him and no matter what he tells you to do, you do to each other. Ooh, mm. TP, what would, the, what would be the first thing you tell us to do? <laughs> Pay me. Pay me. <laughs> You're I know, so- and at the end it ends with a double BJ for TP. Oh, <laughs> that's so sweet. Yeah. Does that mean our tongues I feel are gonna a warm and fuzzy. Our it's tongues like- are going to cross if we suck his dick. Me or are you, you? going to suck on his balls while I suck his cock or vice versa? Why? You don't want to touch my tongue? I don't know. Is that like crossing swords for men? When no, you no are you door. fucking you kidding? I don't want... Door. Uh, you want me to lick your ass? Yeah. I'm a good ass You would want that, TP? From her, yeah. I'm a good fucking ass licker. <laughs> From her, yeah. <laughs> Dude, I've mastered it. I've I've gone on the World Wide Web and perfected <laughs> ass licking. Why Why do you have to look that up? There's an ass and you lick I just it. wanted to say... No, 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 no. See, that's where men fall short of the ass licking. Listen to this you man's ignorance. You don't just lick it. Yes, there's, yes. there's a technique. Please enlighten me on this. There's just a technique. There are different techniques. I mean, I've Googled it. What's the it. technique? What's the technique? You don't use the tip tip of your tongue. Like, you have to, like, kind of, like, use, like, you have the to, fatter part of yes. it. Because like, when you, when you, and it's the same thing with, like, with, your, with pussies. You don't right. fucking 
tongue dart it. Oh, that's the worst. You take your time and you lick slowly and you, you just, you treat it like a sweet little nectar. You French kiss it. Yeah. Or like a balloon. Looks like a balloon. A, a balloon, balloon knot. Yeah. Have you ever licked that? Like you could practice that I've never way. licked a balloon knot. Yeah. Sure. Well, why is it like a balloon? Like who practices on a balloon? I did. You tell- did? You are such a oh. liar. You're going to sit here and tell. Wait, okay, wait, 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 wait. Literally a balloon You knot? took a balloon knot and you pretended it was an asshole. What else looks like an asshole? <gasps> A pomegranate? I can just see her walking all around Chinatown trying was, to get a chocolate, chocolate starfish. Too. It, was at my, <laughs> it was at my girlfriend's daughter's birthday, and I saw it, and I just went in the bathroom. When did, like, was Who? this your first birthday party when you were five? You know, your first school birthday party? No, you mean when oh, I, little, <laughs> little Callie's in the corner sucking on a balloon knot. <laughs> Damn it, I knew it. That's it. That was downhill from there. What else is there to do at a fucking kid's birthday party? Why the fucking people invite me? I don't want to go, so I go in the you bathroom and I lick like balloons. You don't lick the balloon. I'm the greatest wedding guest. You don't even. And she's the greatest birthday yeah. party guest. Okay. Anyway, there no, are right. techniques. I'm just going to read this email and then we'll move on because apparently there's a lot of other shit going on. Okay. I'm thinking of TP's asshole now. This guy, his name is yeah. Steve. He lives I in just, Baltimore. He wants me to talk about medical shit. Here's a question that I'd love to hear some medical stuff about. Could you explain how this works? When I have an orgasm during sex, my erection doesn't fade. Sometimes it gets even harder, allowing me to have two or more orgasms during a session. Lucky motherfucker. What's the dick engineering on that? It would be sweet to do a podcast one time, but I wouldn't expect in a million years. I'm attaching a picture of myself because it seems like standard listener tradition to do it. Why you suck, Steve. P.S. My girlfriend doesn't give me blowjobs either. Not because she's lazy, but because she was abused when she was younger. Wah, wah. I don't really care because there's better foreplay than BJ's anyway. Also, I don't care how much Callie talks about ass licking. It's fucking hilarious. Are you ready for Thanks. his picture? Once you see his picture. I you say that because then I get scared. We're definitely going to have him on as a guest because I'll tell you right now, this guy is fucking smoking. Oh, he is. He's cute. He's totally your type. He's totally my type, right? And how old was he? 24? Yeah. He's just your age. Uh, he might be a little too old for you. He's got black hair. Scruffy beard. <laughs> Why do you beep that out? Because he looks like somebody. <laughs> no, he's better looking than him. Are you crazy? <laughs> Whatever. So, yeah. So, Steve, if you're ever single. Uh, okay. So, answer his question. Well, first I want to find first out. He's 24. So, Rob, that's why he gets hard after he comes. I mean, how many of us have been with 20-something-year-olds? Their dicks always stay hard even after they come. It's true. When you're in your 20s, you have a hard dick like pretty much all day long. Yeah, every 24-year-old I've been with, he stayed hard for hours. I know, right? <laughs> no, but the 20-something-year-old guy that I was with, every time he came, his dick stayed hard afterwards. Yeah. And TP? he was ready to go two seconds later. Do you have any input? Oh, I agree with Rob, yes. All the hard all the hard guys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, in my, I'm in my own he's Cali so, world. Look at him. He's so glazed over. Did you say you're he's in your so own Cali si- world? He's so sick. Yeah, thanks for picking up on that one. Yeah. So Did I pick up on that? Yeah. Oh, see, I told you I'd listen. He does, though. You know what? You're right. He does look like he should be driving like a hoopty car. Or El Camino. In like East LA. Like, yo, <laughs> yo, gringo. Or gring- what do they call them? Chica. I don't know. Come suck them up. Uh, Little. Oh, leave me alone. I like that look on you, TP. He's All right. Like, All right, we'll get to that. Sprant. So, so Sprant, when you were in your 20s, did you have a, a hard cock no matter what you did? Is he? Yeah, it actually still hasn't gone down. Oh, nice. that's nice. But is he complaining about his hard dick? No, he just wants to know. No, I'm so, not complaining about it at all. <laughs> so, um, so, so you, th- so you, what, at what age, Sprant, did you find that your penis wasn't as hard and ready to party as much? When did well, it start losing well, its luster? You mean after the first shot? Yes, after the so, first shot. So you came, and how long does it take to get? Like, what is that? Can you like? Can you give me the average of how long it's supposed to take a man to get his dick hard after the first come? Like at, at least fifteen minutes. Right. I'm sorry. Now. First ejaculate. Is that it? Fifteen minutes now. It could be longer. It depends. Yeah, but yeah, that's typical. I, no, but I gotta say, the it's 20s, called the refractory period. The heavy how- set guy that I was with, he was able to get hard instantly like he would come and stay hard and then literally all he had to do was look at my ass and he was hard again it was however i will say this that it is all relative because when you're 24 you kind of don't know how to fuck yet Uh, so so you don't pace it well and you may not you may not please the woman as much the first time out it's true when you get older you can pace it you make it last longer so that when you do finish it's not such a big rush to get it back up and get it in again it's true. Hmm. He makes a good point. 
No, I got fucked. That's why I'm the founder of the network. (laughs) (laughs) It's true. Your refractory period increases as you get older. Yeah. So, I mean, like, you know, at my age, it's not like as soon as I'm done, I'm like, oh, it's got to get back up again. Right. Like you, you make it. You make it work. You make it last the first time around. Right. You like pound so that pussy, so it's quality nice and, over quantity, right. which is also known as wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> you think of baseball. All right. So let's um, let's just get to. You didn't bust out any jargon. I said refractory period. I thought that was enough. Okay. What else do you want me to say? Uh, I'm. I don't know. When the phallus becomes flaccid during the refractory period. Yeah, don't talk like that. Yeah, see? Thank okay, you. Okay, but this guy likes him. He's cute. And he's hot. So I want to please him. <laughs> <laughs> Shocking. This is my chance, Sprantz, to get the hell out of the network. Like, I can go bang someone outside of the network. All right, in that case, I approve. Okay. TP? Oh, no. I know. I just, I feel, I, this is the only time I'm going to request that you speak. Okay. You had a show last night. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And last episode, I think it yeah. was, you referred to the woman that you had sex with mm-hmm. three times in an evening. Yeah. She woke up, clothes strewn all over your house, mm-hmm. and she claimed to not remember having sex with you. Exactly. Oh, Callie's acting like this is the first she's heard of it. Well, of course it is. <laughs> <laughs> when... But it was three times? Yes. Three See, times. that's weird. If it was once, <laughs> Fuck if, you. It's, if it was once, she gets a pass. Three times. Three right, times. I knew that, and right? Then, and then the fourth with the with, with hand. And her response can, just to refresh the listeners. Yeah, memories. refresh the listeners. <laughs> <laughs> refresh the co hosts as well. I think we are going to refresh them. Yeah, yeah, what happened? She said what? She said, we didn't do anything, did we? And I said, yes, we did. And she was worried that I thought she was a whore, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Well, she is. Yeah. <laughs> And then I started seeing Becca very soon after. Oh, and then, right. see, now you got it. And then the, this chick got real pissed at me and started calling me all names. Right. Well, you've had a lot of psychotic ones in the past. Yeah, so I and get then confused. she would come to all my shows and okay. give me the silent treatment. But then she started acting like my best friend. So right. the reason I bring this up is because TV had a big show last night. That's right. Did you go? No, you had the wedding. I had the goddamn wedding where I band's learned I had a heart of stone. Show, yeah. So it was his band's one year anniversary show. And who was in the audience? It was, you know, this chick. the chick who I fucked and didn't remember, but now is our biggest fan. So talk to us about what happened. <laughs> she wanted she to fuck you and to, forget it she again? She wanted to come home with me last night again. And what did you say? I said, well, you remember this time? Good job, good job. And this time she pretended not to hear me <laughs> say that. See, you could have went, that's where you could have went for the blowjob, dude. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> I was that would have been the move. <laughs> Yeah, you know what? That's I a was, good point because yeah. you were feverish. It doesn't take a lot of effort. I know. Could you have gotten it up, though? I, I couldn't even get myself up, no. Yeah, that's the problem. You were really sick. I, I, I had like, like like a fucking pole up my ass to stand on that stage. But when you feel that way, like like if a woman does that to you and she's like hot, would you just be like, well, I just want to eat her pussy? I would have probably vomited all over her. Oh. Wait, really? I'm just really? Saying, like if you don't want to get fucked up. A chick up, needs to be smoking like me. For a guy I'm wearing a poncho. <laughs> I'm wearing a poncho. It's not, you're right. It's not, it looks like a poncho for a minute. For Jesus Christ. A guy to want to just eat her pussy. Well, I know men and women that would just want to eat someone's pussy. That happened to me this morning. With who? <clears throat> oh. Right. Like, no, he I'm didn't want to come, he just wanted to please yes. you. But mm-hmm. I've met so many people that just want to please me. Like I don't me have too. to right. But so, I don't know that Jeff I mean, I think if you're on stage. Sprance, you're a musician. Back me up here. And a chick comes up to you and wants to, like, fuck you. You're not going to be like, you know what? Let me just eat your pussy. You want to know something? That actually, that kind of stuff freaks me out, to be honest with you. What's that? What? Because I don't know if I would ever fuck a chick that would do that. Right. Somebody you don't even know. Because that's just weird to me. That's why I love Sprance. What do you it's kind of skanky to me. He's Sprancy poo for this reason. Because so he, like, girl- he, he takes into consideration a chick's, like, being... So if a wait, I'm so confused. Right oh, now. I didn't say I wasn't going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> no, the girl I just said it's a little weird. But if if like the girl went up to Jeff and said, "What'd she say? She wanted to go home with you," and you said, "Blah blah blah blah." Uh, but uh, the the place where we played was like five minutes from where I live. But how about I why take you? I, why don't Why don't I go home with you tonight? And then you said you won't remember, and, and said, she didn't hear will you. Will you remember it this time? And then you would say, "Well, let's just go in the back and let me like lick your pussy and make you come." No, I would not do that. 
Why? See, I, so that's the problem that you have, Rob? Yeah. Apparently, everybody at the table has a problem with me saying this. I'm just curious. So, Rob, you have a problem with that because you're saying that the woman has no self-respect. Yes. If she, I, were, if she allowed a man to just eat her pussy, come, and then go home. No, 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 no. I, I actually agree yeah. with your statement that there are, there are times that that's enjoyable to just do that. What I'm saying is any stranger that would come up to you after you fucking play a show and say that she wants you to do that would be a little – I'd be a little wary of that. Yes. Okay. I agree with that. No, okay, I got confused by that. All right. Gotcha. I've banged a musician, but – I know that. I was there. Okay. Okay, sorry, go on. But I didn't wait, go. Wait, you were there like you saw it? Well, heard, I saw the it. beginning and I heard it. I was in the next room over. How far into the beginning did you see? What do you mean? I saw the, they were making out on my lap. Okay, oh, making- it was not on your lap. It was- so he, when he was laying down on the couch while I was sitting up and your friend was asking me to kiss him <laughs> and you guys were making it, that was pretty much on my lap. Okay. Yeah, you got to see a lot. I got to see a lot and hear a lot. <laughs> I, I got to hang with True you. True that, Jake. <laughs> Stacy had me out had Stacey. but I didn't go up to him and say hey no what no, a no, fuck no. I actually went up to him and I said it's nice to meet you because we were actually Facebook friends right. and I said it's nice to meet you in person and he was like I have the biggest crush on you and I said well I actually have a Facebook crush on you and then we started talking so it wasn't like I was like hey you want to go home like I wasn't like a you band whore the ass. maybe I was essentially a band whore but I had game you know what I mean you always have game. You have good game. What? Yeah, it sounds more mutual in that respect. Yeah. I'm, I was just asking. I was just asking, Jeff. I mean, I'm, I, I would normally, I would never do that. I would never go up to someone after a show and be like, let's go fuck. You wouldn't? No, I believe that she would. <laughs> you said no, I, I, I believe she wouldn't. I wouldn't. I absolutely wouldn't. No, I don't think you, you actually, I've been out with you. I'm not. I'm You're very, not like that at all. I'm not. You I actually like, turned down cock. Yeah, I'm, I just like to have fun with my friends. I know. I'm not looking to go get fucked in the ass. Or Do you go- remember when we were out and a guy wanted to buy me a drink? And I was like, no thanks. I'm leaving. And I stayed for two more hours. Oh my God, that was and really bad. And the guy bad. was just staring me down you like, know, that was you're recently. an asshole. And you're like, why don't you just take the fucking drink? And I said, because then I have to talk to him. And I don't feel like talking tonight. I want to hang out with my friends. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, right, 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 right. I was the only straight girl. Yeah, you were with a bunch of lesbians. Yeah. There was two straight girls? Oh, right. Oh, there was yeah. that other one. But she doesn't one, really but count. Because she, she sucks. She's <laughs> just awful. She's an awful straight woman. She gives straight women a bad name. I love lesbians. Me too. So let's go to Stacey's shit, and then we're going to fucking wrap this shit up. Because this, I had a whole plan for the show. How'd it go? It's just not going. It's just not <laughs> happening. But I, I, Hey, look at the bright side. Now you have a plan for the second show. <laughs> exactly. I thought we did really good. I was so not a train wreck. No, you're awesome. You're always awesome. You know I love you. We have to cut some of that shit out. Okay. <laughs> 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 Sorry. All right. I have one thing to report in Stacey's shit. Okay. But did you come up with a new theme song? Oh, God. Did Don't- you? I didn't. Uh, in my in my feverish state, I tried. So let's just sing because no, I don't want to hear it. No, I want <laughs> I want to hear it. I did something you're not gonna like. Okay, let me just... In your feverish state, yeah. play it. Oh! This is not sexy music. <laughs> there is nothing sexy about this music. Turn it off. I I oppose all this heavy metal bullshit. Have in my ears. Shut it off! Make an end. Fire him. <laughs> Done. Jeff, Jeff, make it Please, end. turn it off! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, okay! Okay, do it. Oh, end it. Make it end. Hit a button. Oh, that was awful. Thank you. I, I really, I need sexy music. Jeff. You're to, such a good musician. I need music to make my nipples hard. That just screams I'm angry with the world. And this week I was angry. But with it's the world. holiday. <laughs> I want to hear. I want to hear holiday music. <laughs> I want to. I want to think about like drinking eggnog on next to a fire, naked, with on a festive a, blanket. <laughs> no, yeah, that was one of that King Cole's biggest hits. That was one of what, Rob? That was one of that King Cole's biggest hits. I know, but I want to be on a bear rug, You're naked. making cookies. I'm no. licking your asshole. I'm very festive. Yeah, throw so down the festive blanket. It. It's time My to needles in your. It sounds like the shine. fucking wicked witch is coming. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is this is the other theme music that I wanted like to repeat. Wicked witch. I know. 
just shows my diverse. Do you see like the shit eating grin on his face? He's like loves punishing us, and he knows we have no musical ability. So. Exactly. So what are you complaining about? I'll fucking sing Rihanna. <laughs> Good. All right. Last. Go thing. ahead. Look at you, like gangster. Are you doing like the the sign? I'm trying to stop the pain. Mm. <laughs> are you talking about not feeling well, or just the their presence <laughs> in general? I'll let you decide. <laughs> All right. Have you ever heard of this website? No, um, I haven't. <laughs> Please do tell us. <laughs> it's called, uh, I believe it's called Sex in Seven Days Regimen. Seven Days to Sex Regimen. And there's this woman and she wrote, it's, that's not the website, it's actually an article, but she wrote this article about when you know you're going to have sex, like let's say you have a date on Saturday and you know you're going to give it up. This is your regimen to have sex. Now I'm going to go through the regimen and then I want your input, Callie. I'm listening. <laughs> you want my input, Callie. I heard that part. Okay. I just got an email. All right. I don't care. All right. Okay. You ready? The first day is you have to get a flat stomach. So you need to ingest a lot of grapefruit. You need to eat a lot of oatmeal. And you need to have cottage cheese. That's like it's my... already a fucking pain in the Okay. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and you shouldn't eat regular cheese because it encourages bloating. I eat cottage cheese all day long. Okay. So that's. I thought it was going to be like a sexy seven day. Right. Uh, no. something that, you know, you're already fucking giving me a diet. Yeah. So the first day, you have to get yourself a flat stomach. Uh, day two. <laughs> I just. Wait a second. How do you do that in a day? I know. Well, really. that's just the first day, what you have to right, start so doing. So day one, lipo section. Right, right, right. Day two, what to drink? Smooth move tea by traditional medicinals, blues away tea with St. John's wort, and if you must drink alcohol, make sure you pour Bailey's into your coffee, but not often, or pour whiskey into your yogurt. Oh, I like whiskey in my eggnog. Treat yourself to a Bloody Mary. At least you're going to be eating celery. Okay, so that's the second thing you need to do. I have to do this daily? Mm-hmm. The third thing is you need to take your vitamins because if you do that, it will suppress your appetite. It'll help you control your calcium cravings, and it will give you energy. Oh, I'm going to come now. <laughs> <laughs> Just wait. But can I take my vitamins? Mm, so mind. the next step is wow. get the body to appear toned. Appear. Appear. <laughs> so should I go get myself airbrush? Get my abs airbrush? Are you ready? This is what they recommend. Yoga. Flexibility. While I brush my teeth, I usually put one leg up on the counter and stretch over it to increase flexibility. I do that too. Could but you I'm imagine to... living with this fucking person? <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'm going to brush my teeth. I'm going to lift my leg up so yeah. I can see my fucking pussy in the right. mirror while I'm brushing my teeth. <laughs> brush your pussy while brush, you're at yes. it. <laughs> with not... a sonic kit. <laughs> the second... Butt clenching. Clench your butt cheeks while sitting in your cubicle at least 25 times each hour. I do that, but that's just so I don't have to shit. Me too. I love shitting. <laughs> Me too. It's <That's> fucking awesome. <laughs> butt uh, walking. Speed walk. Get a medicine ball. And I, I doesn't say what to do with it, but get a medicine ball. All right. Just, clearly, just buying one alone will give you a flat stomach. Go dancing. Do Pilates. Do hip hop abs. Oh okay. my God! Shut her up, please. Okay. So clearly, this chick doesn't get laid. We're not it takes done yet. Seven days to prep. Right. How then many days? Oh, this is just seven, seven days just to prep for sex. Yes. So then she says you need to exfoliate. You need to shave. I don't need to shave my face. And then, <laughs> men like beards now. I'm bringing beards back. And then you need to go tanning. Oh, I don't okay. Have, I don't have time. The for best all part this. is she does all this for seven days, and the guy probably nuts in forty-five <laughs> seconds. <laughs> The All next, over her beautifully exfoliated face. And right. the, the next thing she says is, you need to go to sleep early the entire week, the very latest 11 p.m. Before you go to sleep or when you wake up, make sure you masturbate may, to make sure that your orgasms are good to Sounds go. Sounds like my girlfriend. Maybe cop some things you find sexy from porn videos, like a certain way to be like, ooh, baby, or a style of underwear you like. She doesn't wear it. Oh, never mind. And then she recommends black tea eye cream to get rid of the bags under your eyes. Seriously? I recommend she shuts up and dies. So this is seriously the advice that women are getting out there. And there was an article written Poor about women. it. And that's how I came across this, where this person was like, how good could sex be if you're scheduling it in advance and you're training for it like an Olympic event? Agreed. I mean, seriously, sex doesn't need that much prep. You can do all that. Like, shave... 
clean your face with some Cetaphil, some soap. Call some of the best sex of my life has been when my vagina has been overgrown. I have like, it was like the last, I had no idea it was coming and it was just like, boom, boom, boom. Agreed. But I'm just saying like, that's a little much. I mean, to do all these things, I mean, prepare for like, like take vitamins. Like, what do you need vitamins for? Just go fuck. (laughs) Go fucking have fun. TP, how do you prepare? How do you prep your balls? <laughs> I iron them. Mm, good, get those, wrinkles, get those fucking wrinkles out. Exactly. I don't no, want seriously. brown, wrinkly balls like midgets have. <laughs> oh, you, gross. you should Botox them. <laughs> you think that hurts? I don't know. You're going to put yeah. testosterone in your clit. Yeah. I want to see if my clit grows. Okay. When well, I get hard. TP, do you prepare for sex? Like, what do you do? No. So you know you're going to bang a chick. Is there anything you do? No. Nothing. You, you don't trim your goatee? No. You don't like take extra time on your balls in the shower before your date? Are you shaved? Oh, that's a daily regimen. So you shave, you're trimmed. Yeah. You manscape. Yeah. Okay. I then. have I have a theory on the whole blowjob thing. Okay. Uh and TP, this is I'm in, so uh, glad I'm now synonymous with blowjob. <laughs> <laughs> no, with not getting me. exactly. <laughs> I got more than you huh? <laughs> with a glitter. Cock. I, mm. I think, and and I say this with the utmost respect. I think that it might be a little unkempt, and you're unaware of that. <laughs> That's just my opinion. So you think he should maybe show it to somebody? I think Callie should check it out and just take <laughs> take a look we, at it. Uh, and, and just tell them what, where it needs to be neatened up because maybe it's a little smelly or maybe it's just a little hairier <laughs> than it should be. He's pointing to me. No, no, that was your theory. Yes, but that was my theory. But I have to tell you, after giving him his Christmas present, there's nothing wrong with it. Yeah, I was going to say, um, Rob, I take a little bit more offense to that because you keep <laughs> equating me with fucking people within our network dick did I say the, did I say to fuck it or I said to show it doesn't it matter to even to show even the fact that mere fact that I came up and not Stacy Stacy's the whore in this in this right. have you listened to the last 30 something episodes that you've done <laughs> but I've never yeah okay I forgot come it come on you showed everyone your vagina I, no, my vagina I'm just cute. saying that you would be a good judge because you would be very honest. It's true. This is true. Stacy's too nice. She'd be like, "Oh, it's okay." Meanwhile, like the fucking stench of eggs are coming. <laughs> right, like you know, for all you know, like you know, he's not aware of it. Maybe there's fucking peasy <laughs> flies coming out of it. <laughs> oh. No. Ooh, that would be rough. <laughs> As, I'll tell you. I'll tell you what makes me think that is because the one the one chick that bragged about how good she was at it and then didn't do it. Yeah, They're, that's kind of bullshit. She turned. No, I think she turned a corner somewhere, and it may have been a little. A did little she? Off-putting. Did she ever go near the penis and then like scurry north? No. So she didn't even head south. Scurry. No. I like the word no. scurry. Did, but she has a history of making promises that she's never fulfilled. No, that's a hell of a promise. <laughs> yeah. What about the other check? No. Any progress there? I haven't seen her in like a month. So. Oh no. Jesus Christ. Someone, oh, here we go. Ignoring the obvious. Regarding TP's blowjob issue, I haven't heard anyone say it has simply asked, he, has he simply asked either of the girls for one? Have you simply just said, hey, can I have a fucking blowjob already? <laughs> no. Sometimes girls need to be asked because they feel they'll be perceived as a whore if they just do it. Love the show, Dr. Matt. That's a good question. Yeah, That's so good. have you ever even asked them for a blowjob? Like, no. Why? Oh, wait a minute. See, then this is this is a bigger problem. It's not the girl's fault. It's your fault. Because after all this has come up, I have not seen them. What? Uh, oh, oh, that's so true. Are we forgetting that part of this whole thing? That that's they true. both live far away and I have not seen them? That's all right, right. But how far thing. back does this go? When was the last time you've gotten one? Becca. Uh, Becca, yeah, Because a year ago. Gina wouldn't give you one, Gina right? A year ago. At this either. point, I'd fucking go to goddamn Luigi's Tailors. Go pay for a blowjob. Luigi's, Luigi's Tailors? Tailors? Yeah. What are you talking? Could you clue us in on this one? I don't know. You know all those stupid, like, quote-unquote dry cleaners that you open up a curtain and all of a sudden you get a blowjob back there? <laughs> no. You know. You, I don't. You didn't know? I gave, my I, uncle, I gave my uncle one last Christmas. I mean, no, I didn't get one. What? <laughs> Wait, this, is, this happens <laughs> at Luigi's Tailors? That. I meant I bought him a fucking... Gift certificate to this place, Luigi's. Wait, Dallas. wait, time the it's fuck not- out. I don't want to hear anyone talking right now. Everyone it's shut not- up. Okay, it's time for me to. Up. No, I need to question you on this. Mm-hmm. A, how I'm do you, whore. how do you get a gift certificate for a blowjob? You go into this place, whatever place. This what do you mean, whatever place? Like this, it's this like place. Carvel. And- <laughs> 
you have to, you know, it's word of mouth. You find out, you can Google this shit. <laughs> World Wide Web. You know. I don't. So you do, Fury, it's where is Luigi's Taylor? <laughs> Where is it's it? It's on Long Island. That's all I'm going to say. Where? I'm not going to say. I'm what? not going to like, I'm not going to hone in. If you got the World Wide Web, go check it out. Okay. Um, so I, my uncle is a bit of a, a porn, I'm a porn, a, a, a sex porn. fiend. And I didn't know what to get him. So I asked my mom and my mom was like, just get him a fucking blowjob. I don't give a shit. I'm so fucking sick of listening to him say that he hasn't had sex in so long and blah, blah. He was recently divorced like four years ago, whatever. So I was like, Mom, that's fucking twisted. And she's like, I don't really give a shit. I can't take the holidays, blah, 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 blah. So I found out through a coworker of mine that there's this place on Long Island that does happy endings. And it looks like a dry cleaner in the front, but you go in there. They give me a little card, like a gift certificate card. And it's like, a, you know, like a credit card. And it's for a blowjob. So you said, Mom, that's fucking twisted. And then you went and bought it. Yeah, it was 85 bucks. And it was a uh, I don't even want to picture my like, uncle's penis. It's not that. Let he's, alone bring attention to it for a Christmas present. He's my godfather. Like, Should we like send TP there? The network will pay for it if you go, TP. <laughs> sure, but doesn't happy ending usually just use, involve the hand? I was just trying to explain to you what kind of a place it was. Like, okay. if I'm sure, if you go, no, you get in there, you can get a blowjob, you can get a hand job, you can get... I think you can get like the work an anal massage. Oh. I don't know, stupid shit. Like like your anal glands, but not really your anal glands. The network um, the network will pay for it if you go and, and report back. T P do it. Merry Christmas. Kelly, why don't you give him that for his Christmas present? Uh, who's she's gonna give not, me eighty five dollars? It's eighty five dollars? That was last year when I had money. I currently have zero dollars. So wait, it was eighty five eighty five dollars. Now when you gave this to him, did you explain to him what it was? Uh yeah, no, yeah, my mom did. She's like, my fucking daughter bought you a goddamn blowjob. For blah, blah, blah. So shut up your whining are about there, not are, having sex. Are they women? <laughs> yeah, they're... Well, I don't well, know. Do you count, a, do you count Asian, of... Asians? <laughs> hey, Lu- how you doing? I'm a Luigi. <laughs> yeah. oh, and Luigi... Pull out your linguine. Asian doesn't seem to match. You know what I mean? Oh, you got to trim it as shit, guys. I know. <laughs> it doesn't match, but there are little Asian girls in there. Okay. Uh, but, but right. But 21 and up. 21. They're women. They're not girls. Women. But they could have cocks. There you go. I don't know. You know, you never know with Asians. I buy my uncle like <laughs> I bought my uncle this Christmas a, a fucking coffee thermos. I That's what he's getting for Christmas. My, actually, my uncle's not getting shit this year because he's in Mexico now. He didn't like Asians. <laughs> Where, he what does that have to do with anything? <laughs> he went down to Mexico. He wanted fucking. He's on the him. lamb. He wanted a young boy this year. No, he just wanted Mexicans. He likes the Mexican people. He said he's gonna go hang out with them. What do you want from me? I got a fucked up family. What do you want from me? It'd be great if he moved down there and started doing manual labor. I know. Wouldn't that be awesome? And getting fucked by mules and... Oh, there goes the beast. (laughs) What is up with this? I don't know. I can't stop. I just... You know, you you go to Mexico, the donkey shows. No, I don't. I've been to Mexico a few times. You you never saw the donkey show? The woman getting fucked by a donkey? No. Really? Maybe it's a different Mexico. <laughs> yeah. I guess it's not the same Tijuana that I've been to. No, I don't. It is. That's... You walk over Tijuana. You walk over from San Diego and you go watch the donkey shows. Just be careful who you ask people because you might go is to a, a really Luigi's dark there place. Too? <laughs> there's a hey, lot. it there's... comes to the donkey. There's a, pe... there's a Pedro's. You have to ask Pedro. Yeah. And still Asian women come out. <laughs> <laughs> So make sure you ask for Pedro. <laughs> Don't ask for Luigi. You might get a dark, really bad place CD. <laughs> ask about the donkey shows. And don't buy chiclets. Mama mia, this donkey really hurts. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, be careful this holiday season of, of chiclets, donkeys, and Pedros. Okay? Gotcha. You got me. Mm-hmm. I might just get myself a fucking blowjob. I'll go bring my strap on in there and have fucking <laughs> little Asian city over there. Suck on my fucking glitter shit and watch the snow globe frosty snowman go up and down. <laughs> and then I'm going to bang awesome. her in the fucking ass. Because I want to fuck someone in the ass. I'm sick of everyone talking about getting fucked in the ass. I want to fuck someone in the ass hard and maybe see a little blood at the tip of the fucking fake thing. Oh, my God. And then make them gag. I want to see the little frosty snowman have a little red spot on his nose. <laughs> Is that wrong? Turn is that the And I'm going to fucking do? pull someone's hair. That's what I'm going to do this, this winter break. Fa la 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 la. That's right. I'm going to make someone scream. Jesus Christ. Merry Sorry. Christmas. Merry Christmas, guys. Be careful, Pedro. <laughs> <laughs> and thus concludes our holiday episode. Yeah, I mean, I can't, I can't say anything else. I'm done. <laughs> Spread. <laughs> 
maybe next year we could actually have a glory hole holiday party. I'm I, starting I to ask for I'm a holiday party. I'm well, saying, I tell you what I'm thinking of having is a barbecue. Well, you heard last episode. I feel like you're scared to have me there. But I, you know, I now I I'm, am. but I'm wondering, maybe it's Callie with her <laughs> bloody <laughs> snowman talk. That's Let me make something clear. I'm scared of everybody on this network. <laughs> No, but I asked for, I, I recently emailed you, Rob. I wanted a holiday party. I'm so into the holidays. Like, I just wanted to share my Mary. Mm-hmm. Well, you just shared it quite a while. Quite a, <laughs> uh, uh, sorry. Yeah, that's all I need is I have it over and, and the neighbors just having to walk by and <laughs> Kelly's got a fucking strap on. And <laughs> Dr. Stacy's banging the guy across the street. <laughs> or Mr. P. Franco's wearing shorts and $700 shoes. <laughs> Exactly what I need. And yeah. CT flies are coming out of TP's crotch. <laughs> right. Yeah, exactly. TP's all sick and he's throwing up in the corner. Aww. Aww. I think I'm going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> no, you need to do it because you know how awkward the whole thing would be? It'd be awesome. Yes, exactly. Because everybody <laughs> always, you know, talks about how we're all going to get along. And when you put everybody in the same area, it's just going to be bizarre. Well, Frank, I think Franco and I will have fun. I mean, despite our history, we'll be okay. Yeah, the fucking just, Jersey jerks will break my toilet. <laughs> just the two of you will have fun. Nobody else. Just the Franco and fucking Stacey show are going to have fun. Oh, yeah. I'm pretty goddamn certain. You put me anywhere, I'm going to fucking have fun. Me, the Jersey jerks, all the other shows. <laughs> no, I'm going to have fun. I'm just reassuring Rob yeah. that Franco and I are not going to have a problem with I each other. I think we should just hang out and play Scrabble. <laughs> like, let's just show our true intellect. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, I'm not afraid of a problem with you and Franco. No, you shouldn't be. We're fine. I'm afraid of what else, what could happen afterwards with everybody else. Do you think we could try to fit people into <laughs> stockings and see if I can jump on their faces and see who could? <laughs> yeah, I think a few people will go for it. Yeah, let's try that. It adds new meaning to like a potato sack Exa- race. Exactly. We'll do stockings. Just races. that that image is just so it's so fucking weird. Like I could just see the guy like oh, <laughs> trying to get out of it. I'm into this whole dominatrix thing lately. I will bring a festive blanket to the barbecue. <laughs> Are we having a barbecue in, in, outside in the snow? No, he's saying like a summer barbecue. Oh. Yes. In other words, I'm just delaying the end of it. Yeah, you are. I don't like that. Let's do like a spring. Let's do a spring sex brunch. Yes, that's Can we great. do that? Yeah, Come sure. on. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll talk to my wife about it right now. <laughs> talk to her. I mean, I could host it. You don't Honestly, even have to do it. I've had the pleasure of meeting Rob's wife. She's awesome, and I think you will love her. Callie. I think she's not you, but I nothing think you're, but wonderful things. I think about you're her. going to corrupt the shit out of her. <laughs> I just think we should all have a little fun. I think we should spread the holiday cheer. Clearly, we're doing barbecue now. <laughs> I just wanted to. I wanted to spread the holiday cheer. I thought it would be a nice, a nice thing to bring in 2012. And I will, t- I will tell you when the summer comes around, I'll be talking about a Christmas party instead. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You're just going to keep. Fi- I'm going to just have one. I'm going to throw one here at your house. At my house, yeah. Okay. I, don't, I don't currently have a house, so we'll do it here. Um, I are you at all concerned, Rob, about um, me and Rich Voss being in the same room since I'm like obsessively a fan? No, although I think the uh, I was told not to date anybody in a network joke. I think that needs to stop. <laughs> what do you mean? Like I first, I send that. I you know I cringe when I send the group emails out to everybody and include the. Uh, celebrities on the network <laughs> so I, as soon as i hit send i go oh god here come the reply <laughs> there's none of the celebrities ever reply but it's always all the buffoons start coming in like me I'm i like, was surprised that you were the first buffoon in this time. i was like anyone single and i think Is she was the single? only buffoon from why you're stuck in bed by the way <laughs> Is anyone single Is i anyone? never respond and then there was no answer so she tweeted it instead Oh, um, whatever. And you know, then there was no answer to that. And then she tweeted it directly to Bonnie. <laughs> well, wh- <laughs> why doesn't anyone love me? I don't understand. Like, you don't I- un- you, no, it's not like they love me either. They don't love anybody. <laughs> they love themselves. They're Aww. comedians. That's what they do. Uh, well, that's I love you. I love you too, Rob. I love you. Guys. I said I love you. And I love Rob. you, Callie. You don't love Rob? What's wrong with you? No, I don't love Rob. I don't know Rob enough to love him. Yes, I like you- him. He's a nice guy. Oh, wow. What? You just don't go around loving people. I you do. go around fucking people. You don't go around <laughs> loving people. I love them. and I them. loved Rob when I thought he was Jewish. Now I'm not so sure I love him anymore. <laughs> so it's the whole Gentile thing is going against me. Yeah, totally. You better start putting a, a Star of David around your neck. <laughs> no, I'm going <laughs> to 
eyes on it. It'll probably burn into my skin. <laughs> what, what would the atheist sign be? Because that's what I need to wear around my neck. A big A. An upside down flag. No, that's a anarchist. An A. Which, I mean, by the way, is where Riotcast logo came from. By the way, oh, I love it. I'm agnostic. So people, I, a lot of people hate it. Actually, who hates it? A lot of people hate the logo. Who? I don't know, some of the fans on the Facebook page, but the riot thing. What yeah. are we called? Riot Cap. <laughs> <laughs> the yeah, we're called the riot thing. The ri- I don't know. Someone asked me. I didn't even know what it was called. I said riot something. Riot cast. Oh, okay. yeah, like it's like punk rock inspired. It's supposed yeah. to look like the Anarchy A. Only it's I like up- it. It's so yeah. No, it's great. It's awesome. Would you rather <laughs> have like R for Rihanna or C for Cali? <sighs> no, a, I don't. There's know. a C in there too. No, I think it's good. I think it's nice. <laughs> I liked the glory hole, though, because it was funny, because it's just the shock value that when you say that you belong to the glory hole network, people are like, ah, ha, ha, ha. you already get a chuckle. You don't even have to say anything. I you immediately get that first chuckle and then they're intrigued and then they want to hear more just because you said the word glory hole, especially coming from a woman. But I had a lot of people wonder if our our podcast network was gay. Really? See, I didn't get that. I just got literally a girl saying glory hole. They were intrigued and then I could speak more. By the way, it is gay. It is gay. And just so you know, um, Bruno is going to be uh, a guest on our next show, and he's been getting inquiries to to appear at bars. Okay. So we're going to start making appearances. Wait, what fucking bar? Was <laughs> I love Bruno, Luigi's? but what bar is asking Bruno? Luigi's. <laughs> hey, come to my bar. And I'm fucking Pedro. a donkey. <laughs> um, and we're going to... Well, I don't know that Callie and I are going to make appearances, but... Um, Bruno is willing to make My appearances well. oh, and he me. and he's going to be asking questions in the audience or doing like a stage show of asking questions. Bruno should do a donkey show. <laughs> and he should. I'd fucking pay for that. And I want him to stutter all over. And he should ask the donkey questions about how it's going. Did you say ask the donkey or ask? I said ask the donkey questions about how it's going. Okay. He should. <laughs> I want to see him get fucked. Oh, God damn it. Fucked goes by a donkey. <laughs> what is wrong? I don't know what's wrong with me. Oh, you know, I'm going to have to, you know, we have big things coming up too in January. I don't necessarily know how much we're allowed to talk about it, but just know that big things are happening to why you suck and bad. Big Seriously? things. And we're going, Seriously? we're going live. We're going to have a few live shows coming out in January. It's big. Maybe February. Seriously? People actually like us guys. It's, it's going to open a whole new horizon to my dating world. It's going to open a whole, yeah, <laughs> it's going to be good. My hole's just going to open. <laughs> And I'm going to encompass everyone. And you all are going to have a home to go to. It's going to be nice, warm, and wet. Mel Carmen is going to call me crying. <laughs> I just need to stop talking about bestiality. It seems like I'm talking about it more You know now. why you're talking about it? Because that new horizon that we're about to enter, yes, the not- only limit they put on us was you cannot talk about bestiality. And now- I'm getting it out of my system now. Was that, re- was that really a limit? Yeah, they that was the only limit. No bestiality and no child porn, which <laughs> is not a problem. But seems oh, like- what if, what if, can, you, can you have some kind of porn with like a child beast? <laughs> I know. I mean, isn't this fucked up that I can't? I don't know how why I'm talking about it so much. It was like the two things that they said. Because a year ago when we started this, that was my suggestion and you shot me down. That's right. Bestiality. We yes. haven't even been on the air for a year. Do you realize that? Yeah. We haven't no. even hit our year anniversary. Awesome. Yeah, we are awesome. Yeah, we are. Yeah, we but are. But this is why. So one of the, um, you know, well, I can say Sirius Radio yeah. found us. I won't say what network, but yeah, they found us. And- <laughs> well, I guess it's too late now. You've already said it. <laughs> I guess so. No, but I'm saying like I'm allowed to talk about it. I just don't really know exactly what to say. But anyway, we are allowed they, to talk about it. They sought us out and they want to, you know, put us on the radio. And they, but we're going to be alive and we're going to take live phone calls. It's going to be fun. And Rob, you have to call in. Sure, I'll call in. Okay. But I, th- I think uh, with the guests that you're planning, I don't think you'll, you'll need me to call in. So you'll have, the, you have much more talent. But can I ask you, the guest that we're planning is Callie going to be able to interrupt him every five seconds? Oh, I, I guarantee you in 15 minutes, Ke- if, if Kelly is over, over the line, it'll be done. <laughs> like, you mean he, he's going to he hang? Will, he will put Kelly in the corner. <laughs> so he'll be the first one to have Kelly just kind of be. She'll be, by the end of it, she'll be like, just like, oh, uh, thank you for listening to our show. <laughs> yeah, I highly doubt that, but I challenge anyone who would try. <laughs> No, he's he'll, he's gonna love you guys. I know it. No, Here. I don't care. I try. I try. I'm trying to listen more and not interrupt. Well, All right. just try a little harder. No. All right. Well, I'm gonna That's wrap what it people up. People like about our show, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> they like when I interrupt Stacy. 
Okay, maybe. And not. this is why the Christmas party would be awkward because you and Rob would go at it. I know Rob's always mean to me. No, he's That's why not. there's no love there. I am so not. And mean. he's not fucking a Hebrew, so fuck this. You always say he's mean to you. He is mean to me. He's not no. nice. I-, I would weep in a corner somewhere if I had no self esteem. <laughs> but I'm okay, and I'll take it like a champ. What has he done that's mean? He's me- he's just overall mean. What did he say? No, he's just nasty. What did he say? He said shut up once or twice. Well, uh, those both times you did need to shut up. <laughs> See, I don't think you should ever tell a woman to shut up. Hey, but st- <laughs> I'm calling they women's rights. You to shut up twenty times. I always say shut up. Meanwhile, you Rob can't tell you to shut up, but you'll stuff him in a stocking and sit on his face. Not him. <laughs> oh, not Rob. No, he's not Jewish. He's not Jewish. I need a Jew for this. So that the <laughs> irony of putting a Jew in a stocking with my fucking <laughs> bring back hairy pussy pussy on their face. <laughs> What's wrong with that? And I want to see the Star of David wrapped around his neck. Oh, my God. <laughs> no? We're never getting a career in satellite radio if you keep this up. I know. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, animals. The All piece, right. The piece, I'm, I'm the stopping piece. this. I'm Joy putting... to the world, everyone. Thanks, Joy Rob Sprantz. Everyone. And listen Thank to Riot guys. Cast. Mm-hmm. And Happy our, Hanukkah. Our new shows. Merry Christmas. Kwanzaa. No, Kwanzaa doesn't start until after Christmas. That's Hammer Fisting. And Ramadan. Comedy yeah. Cellar. My wife hates me. My boyfriend Kevin Kraft show, Mad Scientist Party Hour, The yeah. Jersey Jerks. The Jersey Boys. It's the worst plug I've ever heard in my life. Uh, <laughs> I know. What the fuck are you doing? I'm just trying to name everybody. Why don't you just go to our new? What's the new thing? The I just said thing. it. The Riot Cast the Riot thing. thing. Go there. Check out all our <laughs> other our other podcasts on there and listen to all of them. We're good. We're good peeps. You'll love them. All right. <laughs> You're listening to Why You Suck in Bed on the Riotcast Network. Brewery Hall Radio is now Riotcast. Riotcast.com.